Bomb. Welcome back to the waviest podcast in the UK. Real talk, true stories. We're back again. Another big one. You get me. I feel like we're in our bag at the moment. Yeah, man. We just done yeah, podgy, man. epic stories yeah, from over this side yeah, of town. Yeah, yeah. And now we're taking it over to a whole different end. You get me. Mm. I don't even know what end you come from, actually, though. Peckham. He, Peckham yeah, no, I, sh- I should yeah. know just because it's called Pe- the Peckham Flow. Like it's the and football that. team. Though, it's the football team yeah, that throws yeah, me off. Everyone gets yeah, confused. Yeah. And I feel like I watched the interview once where you was talking about Il- Ilford sides a lot as well. No, Canning Town. Canning Town yeah. sides. Yeah, yeah. Because I got my my dad got twenty kids. So Bum, we're all over the place. He's got, yeah. he's got a football squad. Yeah. Two, Not even a two team. Yeah, 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 you get me? Deep. As well. yeah, 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 subs yeah. in them too. But now, nah, man, to my left, we've got a special guest, Bobby Kasanga, Mr. Big yeah. Ego Media. Thing, Thanks for coming down, bro. Appreciate on, bro. your time, man, no and for worries, making bro. the effort. No Dynix, I know you're doing your thing at the moment, busy and all that. Um, to my right, we've got the co host, Aaron Roach Bridgman, you done know. What are SBTV's finest and that? He's in the house, man. You get me? We say, my boy, you good? I'm good nice. Sunday? Yeah, yeah, everything's blessed, bro. Are you feeling about being in the mix at the moment with stuff again, man? Yeah, man. good. I'm busy, bro. Like, mm. even like now, from now, tomorrow, I'm back to Birmingham for the week. I'm filming all week. Then I'm back for like two days and then back again for like another week. So, right now, it's busy. busy. But it's good to be back in the mix of the podcast. You get mm. into a conversation today, man. Definitely. But you know what it is with Bobby as well, yeah? Because normally I'm thinking, why are you talking? I'm thinking, you know we have someone oh, he's a rapper or yeah. he's a producer yeah. he's a you're a bit of everything bro like a bit of an all rounder you know i'm like. not a rapper so Defin- don't, don't, let, don't let peckham <laughs> flow fool you <laughs> try to throw him out <laughs> i'm definitely not a rapper what i'll say um on online a community guy a community guy you know because i think before anything else what i'm passionate about mm. the work that i do the use and then yeah, everything else that. adds on top yeah yeah, so, yeah. Mm. Would you say as well, rather, because you know the reason why I coined it like that is because you get online content creators, podcasters, hosts, media, journalists, whatever. But even though you do a bit of everything, I feel like your personal page has almost become a bit of a blog. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm trying to say? That's it, why I don't know how to coin it, if that makes and sense. And that's what my missus does to say, that she's like, who's Bobby and who's the blog? Because <laughs> I've kind of, it's I've, I messed it up myself basically, <laughs> but like, I had big ego at the blog, mm-hmm. and then I just thought, you know what? Let me actually post more on this page because big ego was a hidden page, and then that page just started growing and growing mm. and growing and growing. I thought, you know what? I did now start a, another page with just personal family, yeah. so that one's got like, oh okay, maybe Couple only hundred. like, yeah, yeah something like personal. that, yeah. and then that's just a post myself and yeah. family, and then yeah. the that page now has become actually a blog page in itself. But with that, it helps me to work with brands yeah, and, um, and musicians bro. and things like that as yeah, well. Yeah. So yeah, and I think once you've got your own name there as yeah. well, it's about you as well, so yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't even think it's like fucking up. I think it's just happened by accident. If, yeah. if that's that, and it's gonna be a good thing. Yeah. No, because a, you can just move that and heavy big up, up. Big up um, AP, made you think. Yeah, yeah. come on. Mm-hmm. Me and him both Congolese and we share birthdays. <laughs> well, our birthday's coming up this Saturday. Oh, same day and everything? Same day. Wow, yeah, yeah. yeah that's mad stuff. And the thing is that- And he's Southeast as well, isn't it? Nah, he, he, he's he was Southeast. East, he was he's East, East, okay, East, yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't really know that well. And the thing was that, um, I, I used to go into prisons, so after I come up, I used to go into prison to do talks. Mm. And I went to go to Thameside, hmm. and I went to Thameside doing some talks, and some guys chatting to me. He said, "Oh yeah, I'm coming out of jail soon. Oh, my brother runs this page, mm-hmm. uh, Major Thing." I'm like, "Oh, Major Thing, oh. yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know that page, but that page is dope." And at this point, he maybe had like fifty Early k, fifty yeah, k yeah, yeah. followers or so on. So now when I got out, I reached out to him, said, "Yo." I just uh, didn't even know you was Congolese. I met your brother, and then after that, we just touched. <laughs> and then, like, he started finding out what I was doing. Yeah. Then I'm finding out what he's doing. And then like he just started. Now I say he's kind of fundamental in cars out there mm. doing what I was doing, kind of thing, where yeah. people kind of knew me. But he's the first one that started posting me on blogs on his page. When you. he done that, people then started coming back to me and following. So I always say, big up AP, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's weird because I kind of like, um, I li- like enroll you, you two into the same world, but yeah. you're not. You might not like you say you might not be directly connected in terms of like taking pictures together and shit yeah. but i remember your page from his page yeah. does that make sense yeah, yeah, originally yeah. and then the big ego thing you know what, we're gonna get into that i want to i'm gonna take it back first because we're gonna get into how the podcasting started yeah. and the interviewing but i want to i want to fi- let the viewers know like especially the americans that watch our team because we've got like a different viewership to the other yeah. podcasts what's what's peckham saying bro how was it growing up over there for you just briefly so we can so they can know a bit more about your background I, peckham was crazy but the thing was like when you're young, before when you're in primary school, you don't know nothing. Mm-hmm. And I think that's for most ends, you don't know nothing. I just think that like, I live in a nice estate. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> when, you, when you're getting older, you feel like, but there was piss there, there was graffiti there. Those are not fireworks you heard in the summer. Like, <laughs> those were gunshots kind of well, thing. So it's like, yeah. but then when my brother got to year seven, 
and I was in year five, then he will come back and start telling me stories. Like, oh, these Peckham boys and this and this. And you're hearing these stories mm. and names and you're thinking, you're thinking like, like, like they're superheroes yeah, kind yeah, of thing. Hood legends. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And where, I think I spoke about this before, where my mum's house is in Peckham now, even currently, I was there yesterday, it's right slap bang in the middle where everyone is. So everyone knew exactly <laughs> where we lived. So it's like, to this day, we still live there. But Shit, then you man. started seeing everyone, you started seeing everything. And then you started mm. reading, oh, this is my man, this is my man. Because you've been Gloucester Estate, innit? Gloucester. I grew up in Gloucester Estate and then they knocked down the whole Gloucester Estate. Yeah, and that's gone, innit? Yeah. Is that gone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the thing is like, okay, not down in the state, cool, make it look nicer, but the same people are still there. <laughs> the that's same Stonebridge, people. bro. Yeah. Stonebridge is the same. <laughs> so the same people are still there. So like, not, 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 not much is going to change, but yeah, it, it looks nicer. It looks nicer. But yeah, nah. <laughs> um, don't get me wrong, there was a lot of violence. Um, mm. I was saying this earlier to someone um, when I was on the phone, as that I've had more than 30 people that I know killed in Peckham that's or crazy. in and around. That's, that's more than 30. That's crazy, that's RIP, crazy yeah. right? That's mad. So it's like, that's how you just know how dangerous that place was. 100%. However, mm. there's some good kids who just got on with their lives mm. and didn't get involved with anything. So it, it also depends if you put yourself in there. Of course, there's other kids who didn't put themselves in there, Damn mm. Lola Taylor, yeah. one of the most famous yeah, yeah, yeah. ones. God bless him, man. G- going home, right? Joke so him, it's like, yeah, so for anyone who knows Peckham, it's apparently a couple of years ago, it was voted the best place to live in London, which was crazy. <laughs> 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 it's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. But I, I'm like, <laughs> that's cap. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Maybe big up G bro, Fresh and Lola, but I knew pub there as well. Now, bro, like, it's true. When you go down to Peckham now, bro, you see a lot of people that you might see in like Shoreditch. Mm. Yeah, but it still like, feels a bit greasy, obviously, yeah, though. Compared yeah. to if like, you go, if you keep going down the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you keep going to the states yeah. and that, then you'll yeah. see. Oh, it's Peckham. It's Peckham. Yeah. Ryde Park looks nice as well yeah. during yeah. the day. And that, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's like there's even places like in Hackney where cause I've been in Hackney more often now. <laughs> but like places in Hackney, you go, you think like, right? There's a place uh, where one of our sponsors, Lawrence and Pub, is. It's called Hackney Village. Hackney yeah. Village. <laughs> you know, and, and they got a farm and them yeah, things. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's kind of trick everywhere. Like Victoria Park is there. You think like, right, it's all nice and. Just around the corner, <laughs> <laughs> it's Well Street. Then you go to Hom, and so yeah, it's yeah, mad. Yeah, but everyone's, everyone's got those those good and nice places. But Peckham was a. <laughs> I wouldn't have wanted to grow up anywhere else. I really enjoyed yeah, yeah. growing up there. Made but at the same you time, are. but at the same time, there was a lot of victims who came out of there, and God rest their souls, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. that makes sense, though. Yeah, man, mm. it's deep. So um, did all you know how you said you got you had a lot of brothers and that yeah. all of them grew up over there? Or was it or spread across different ends? No, it's spread across different ends. So um, so my brother is. Technically, actually, my cousin. Right. But I grew up in that household. So my mum, mm. um, my mum's is his dad's um, older sister. Mm. So where my, my dad, my dad was someone who had a lot of money back home. My dad was my dad. My dad was caked off, and my uncle, uh, my mum's younger brother, used to stay with us in in Congo. Okay. And then when he said, "Yeah, I'm going to the UK," and for the thankful looking after him, he said, "Yo, I'm yeah, gonna yeah. take your 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 son." Take the so like he was, I was always under his guide as mm, my father, basically. Mm, so mm. I, I've always known, but I grew up there. And he, to this day, I was there yesterday. I still call him dad. Yeah, yeah. I still yeah, call yeah. Um, raise man though as well. Oh, yeah, he raised yeah, me. So, yeah. but yeah, so that was my Peckham side. But then my biological father, um, he was back and forth, and he lived in Cannon Town, so I had my heart. Oh, was there. okay. That's and then happened, later yeah. on down the line. My other brothers, who, who the same mum, same dad, they came to the country, mm. so they all live in Hackney. Okay. And then oh, okay. That, so so, so we're, we're in Cannon Town, we're in Hackney, we're in Peckham, so we're everywhere. So the link happened then through the, through the family connections that you had there? Yes, yeah, so Cannon Town, that's where the link came uh, mm. through um, me being over there, my okay. half-brothers over there. So I don't know if you guys remember the rapper, um, Don E. Yeah, of course. Uh, so that's my younger brother. We're, we're oh, the footballers. Yeah, 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 that's my younger brother. Yeah, so that, that's okay. the Cannon Town side. Oh, cool. And then on the Hackney side, I had my family as well. But... I first knew about Hackney when I moved to Stoke Newton. Mm-hmm. My bro- one of my brothers had a flat over there, mm. and I went to go and stay. It's, it's a borbled road, if I remember correctly. So I was living there for a little while, and then I got caught up in a little bit of the. You know, when you go to a new area, yeah, 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 you don't yeah, really yeah, know yeah. no yeah. one. Politics. So it wasn't politics because you can cut you. Mm. I started shotting locally, <laughs> but, but, but no one, no one, no one kind of knew me. So I just I, I picked just up, a few, up I, I, I yeah. picked up a few cats and every now and then, and yeah, then I like, just started yeah, building yeah. up my line like that. And no one kind, of, but people started seeing me around. Slow kind of motion. Thing. Yeah. And then obviously I was doing security van robberies. We'll, we'll probably get into. Well, and then, then yeah, we're gonna get into that. When I got nicked, they said, so yeah, yeah, put my probation on the first when I came out. They're like, yeah, you're a hackney. So that's why. Hackney with football club came ah, about. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, that makes sense, okay. bro. Mm. So yeah, you're patterned up in like different areas. Yeah. That makes sense though, because it's yeah. heavy. Because yeah. I thought I thought you just ended up in Hackney just because for the love of football and it was you went and played football over there. Oh no, no. But it makes sense you spent there, some yeah. time over yeah. there as well, still. 
So how did you get into the roads then, fam? Was it a thing where like, because you're saying obviously Peckham, you're in Peckham, you're seeing all these man them outside, yeah. your family house yeah. is central. And I think yeah. the one thing we're missing out is what is the fact that you mm. always had football. Mm. Like football is something that you've always cling to. Yeah. So even though you did get involved in the roads, you did get involved. You in played the ball though, wasn't it? Proper. Yeah, as well. yeah, no, I yeah, played yeah. the way through, and I yeah. feel like ball for you has been something that you've always kind of come back to. Mm. Um, and in a, in, a, in a sense now, it's the main thing that you've kind of built from as well. Yeah, like yeah. The football team is obviously there and it's doing well. I was I, I was someone that I had to be, become a footballer. Yeah, there was yeah. no I, I, in my, I was that confident. <laughs> yeah. that he, everyone gasped yeah, me up. Yeah, I'm yeah. making this joke about the Peckham Zidane, but I was that Peckham good. Zidane. Right? <laughs> I was that good, right? But what it was is that Zidane was hard, bro. Yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah, so hard. so, so when they give when they give me that name, you know, right? Close touch. Close touch. But the thing was that. I touched year seven, I should have gone to St. Thomas Apostle because big up Mr. Underwood is a teacher that was um, my teacher at primary school. He used to look after the district, right? And he told me that, yeah, um, come to St. Thomas Apostle because that's where mm. he's going because I used to play for the, the district team. Mm. But on my mind, it's because the same um, school as my brother's, wow. Work Park, and Work mm -hmm. Park was the main school. In, it's actually the only secondary school in main town Peckham, basically. Oh, for right? real? So, yeah, because people at Peckham used to go to school in Campbell, aren't they? Yeah, they go, they go, they go Down to the road Campbell, and that. Yeah, they go to uh, St. Thomas, which is down Queens Road, but mm. Work Park is called now City Academy, Peckham, uh, Harris Academy, whatever. That was there. Mm. But what happened with that was that my brother's getting popular, right? He's in year nine now, and he's got a bit of a name for himself mm -hmm. locally as well. Mm -hmm. So when he's got a name for himself, that like, you realize, oh, the girls are onto my man. So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, as well, yeah. So it's like, I'm gonna make yeah. sure everyone know that's my brother. Yo, yeah. that's my brother, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's like, when I should be going football, it's like, I'm trying to hang around, but I'm not affiliated. So from year seven to year nine, mm. I kind of was on a, you were just kind of peripheral. I'm yeah. not really yeah, 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 into yeah, yeah. it kind of thing, but I started hearing everyone's names and, mm. and where my house is, everyone hangs around there. Yeah, so yeah. people see me kind of thing. Then I think um, I, I talked about it. It's my most watched uh, video actually on um, on my channel. Mm. It's got like over 400,000 views. Big. Is the, um, how I got recruited as a Peckham boy. That's how I come across your thing, still. Yeah, so literally. Um, <laughs> I think I rang Boost after. <laughs> yeah. I was, walking, <laughs> I was, down like, the, <laughs> I was walk, I walking down the road, right? <laughs> And literally, remember the Russian hats, the Moscow yeah, hats? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I had one of those ones. <laughs> and then um, it was my brother's one. So I couldn't even, I wasn't even allowed to have it. So you know when you steal your brother's <laughs> things? Yeah, I'm coming true. back and then everyone's all jamming there. And Zoro, big up Zoro, Young of Fire, like he was the one that everyone know. Yeah, like this, that's the main, one of the mm. main guys in, in for our age group, basically. He's like, yo, 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 what are you saying? So I'm thinking, but I see a few regular faces that I see. Mm. So I thought I didn't think there's nothing yeah, wrong with yeah, that. Yeah. like, yo, let me see that hat. <laughs> Everyone knows what that mean, innit? I'm like, that means give me that. I'm like, I'm like, why? <laughs> I want that. Yeah, he's like, nah, man, let me, let me see that hat. Let me see that hat. Then uh, big up younger Raver. He's like, nah, what are you doing, man? No, nah, no, nah, man, that's that's Carly's little brother, man. He's like, oh, I swear that I didn't know, man. Oh, you're one of us. Say no more, then. Yeah, you're good. Literally, that was it. <laughs> you're buzzing. The Fine next day, yeah, 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 yeah. The, the next day, instead of walking past him, I'm chilling. Nailing up. Yeah, then yeah, they're like, yeah. oh, so what's your name then? Cause my brother's name was Mona. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm younger Mona. Yeah. He just yeah. took their name like that. Straight. And then next thing, I'm with them. Mm. But I always, I always say this, right? It was almost like a fake gangster because my heart was kind of pure where I was a good guy kind of thing. You're playing ball so with I'm doing it because it's the cool thing to do. That's how I thought, you know, when I was in the hood. That's yeah, mad. yeah. That's mad. I, I know exactly what you're mm. trying to say. To that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. when now the man am I going to do robberies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going there, I'm not participating at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah They're yeah. like rubbing these guys' phones <laughs> in there. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, you man, allow it. They'll be like, who bought this guy? Why is this guy here? Who's bought him, man? Who, whose guy is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. they were like, I leave him, I leave him, man. That's and a then, good boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 <laughs> that's, that's funny, though. Yeah, because everyone was supposed to be on the same. Yeah, yeah. man's like, blood, you're and fucking then, up the vibe. <laughs> then, <laughs> you're trying to save him. Everyone, <laughs> everyone will go back, everyone will go back um, on ends after we do our robberies. Them time, remember, you can go sell the phones. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. ever send the phones, then the gold JD, buy something. This time, I ain't, I ain't bought nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm just there with my old kicks and everything. <laughs> so the next time, matches. the next time we're gone there, I'm, I'm on it kind of thing. They're like, cool, yeah. I'm going to jump in, right? And I remember, like, <laughs> they moved to some guys, and I'm even, I'm not even coming, like, give me your phone, give me your phone. The guy's like, no. <laughs> to the point where my next bedroom banged him in the face. Yeah. And I remember the guy, the kid's glasses broke. Yikes. And my heart sank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt bad for him. I felt yeah, bad for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt bad for him. Clean heart. I even cried when I went home. I was like, oh, but I took the phone still. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I took the phone still. I took the phone still. Protocol. And, Protocol. Then, and then the next day I sold it, went JD, bought trainers. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. And then literally 
Sad. That was it. I start hanging on with everyone, and then you yeah, kind of yeah. you kind of start now you're involved. Now you're mm. where people are getting beef. Yeah, we, let's go, let's go. We should go get off for no reason after school. Let's go, Lucian. Let's go and start mm. trouble. But deep down, my heart went in it. Mm. Was that beef it. already active by then? Then, or was it not? Was it just brewing? Th- that, that beef was active from before my time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> from Old before school. from before my time. So I don't even know why we don't like these guys. You just know that you're supposed to. We, 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 exactly, you just it's know like you're supposed to. A lot of to. beef, bro. Yeah. yeah. A lot of beef that used them that are, that are partaking in it now, they don't actually know the, the history mm. or even how it started. And that's that's the sad thing sometimes. And uh, not to digress quickly, I'm going to quickly yeah. tell a story about this. I'm, yeah. kind, no, I'm, I'm trying bro. to produce a little show about this, right? Yeah. There's a, um, there was a, someone done an experiment, some monkeys, right? Mm-hmm. They put uh, three monkeys, or, or f- three or four monkeys in a cage, right? and they put bananas at the top. Mm. So anytime one monkey went to go get banana, they sprinkled uh, cold water on them so the monkeys ran out. Ducked right? out, yeah, yeah, yeah. So whenever another monkey will go up, water will come. So it got to the point that if a new monkey tried to go up, the other monkeys will beat him up, like, don't go in there, don't go in there, right? <laughs> then what they done then, they took two of the original monkeys out. Yeah. And put two new ones in. Yeah. When the two new ones trying to climb up, the old monkeys are beating them up. They're like, what are you doing? To the point where they removed the original Monkeys, so now there's no more original yeah, monkeys. It's just new. Now just new. And anytime a new monkey comes, these are new monkeys are being at the new monkeys. So it goes back to the hood. A lot of people are beefing over the history they don't even know. Yeah. Like, so you it's know what? Cycle. There's actually a saying called yeah. monkey see, monkey do. Yeah. That comes from yeah. these yeah, from things. Yeah, so literally, we, we, a lot of these young people are involved in things they don't know nothing about. Someone people probably slept fashion, with, yeah, someone right, slept right, with right, someone's right. girl. Someone that's, that's what it yeah. usually is. Yeah. Like and that's the man's thing. Chicken shop and it's that. usually yeah. a man didn't did, did go move to a certain man's gang and mm. from there. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Way and, they, and they might have been aligned before. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, up the alliance. Yeah. And then, yeah, then you've got beef yeah, yeah. that goes on for, for, for generations. Yeah. Generation. Yeah. It's mad. Yeah, it's true story. Yeah, so like I said, we were, I, I, I didn't have no personal beef with anyone, but yeah. I'll just join. Just knew that that's what it is, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes yeah. sense. Peer pressure's a real thing, bro. Yeah, fam, man. It's a real thing. I, I say this a lot. Peer pressure is the biggest influence on any child, yeah. mm. more so than your parents. How many yeah, times your parents yeah, yeah, have come 100. home at 8 o'clock and everyone, man, ah, hey, it's going at 8 o'clock. So you decide to defy your parents yeah. and stay at uh, so half 8. 9 or yeah. whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. I used to get teased for having a, um, what's the thing called? Curfew. Curfew. Yeah. I used to get teased for having a curfew. Were you going home, Roach? Yeah. You know what I mean? That's how people used to be. They make man feel bad. So man used to. I became double defiant. Mm. So when I was in school, it was right. mad. In yeah, school, yeah, yeah. they couldn't control Unruly. me because that mm. was the place where I could really be myself. Mm. I didn't have the parental guidance. So it's like, they didn't know how to deal with me because I was a youth that was achieving good grades, but I was the worst behaved youth in the but school. Yeah. You know what? Uncontrollable. Mm. The maddest thing is, it goes back to everything he's already said about being young, right? So he's coming outside, seeing these man them. These man them are getting rated by uh, Gallem at school. Mm. All the people on the ends are saying, yeah, my man, woo, woo, rave or whatever. Woo, he's a big dog. He's this, he's mm, that. Mm, mm. And you go home, and even if you have got good parents, fam, mm. Mm. it's like they're still your parents, they're not your friends. Yeah. So the way they're, they're telling you about go bed, clean this up, chores, do that, you already got that feeling like, rah, you don't rape me. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Kids yeah. are weird, and then kids, yeah. they kind of seek validation elsewhere, especially yeah. outside. So I hear that, like, even the peer pressure thing, it's like, it's bro, man, I remember when I, I, st- I tried smoking cigarettes when I was younger just yeah. because everyone was like, rah, you don't smoke, <laughs> yeah. you get me? Yeah, yeah. These, bro, I don't smoke cigarettes, mm. man, you get me? Never yeah. did after that, but. Yeah. That's what it does to you. It kind of puts you in a position where you're even willing to give it a go yeah. because they're them lot of are like, right, well, you're you're the odd one out, blood. Yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So it's true still. I hear that, man. I feel like I feel like you said that once on a podcast, man. Actually, yeah. I remember watching a podcast. I just can't remember which one it was where we where you was talking about like how like your thing is about parenting, bro. Yeah. About kids and that. How it might have been when it's talking. It might be when it's talking. Yeah. yeah, it might have been when it's talking mm. still. But it was about kind of like di- directing your kids in a way where it's kind of like being their friend, but mm. being a parent at the same yeah. time. Because yeah, right now, like for example, like my daughter's can't lie to me. Mm-hmm. Mm. You can't lie to me. I might let things slide when I know you're lying, but mm. you can't, I, I know like, you tell me school finishes at 4 p.m., I'll call the school. <laughs> yeah, <that's> it. <laughs> but it's like, you have to make them feel like comfortable mm. to come and talk yeah. to you like, a, like a father. Like yeah. I got a f- four year old daughter, she's gonna be five, and I got a 14 year old, gonna be 15 next month, right? Nice. This year, January time, she told me, oh, some boys asked her to be a Valentine's. Now, I could have never imagined back in the day, my parents be going to talk about anything like that, but I've allowed yeah, her to yeah, feel yeah. comfortable enough it's to come and talk to me. Like, if there's any issues around boys, around sex, around what you call it, don't ever feel embarrassed, come up and yeah, conversation with me. Because I'd rather you, you told me the truth and then we can say, okay, cool. Like, the, the guy, I called him up and said, yo, what's going on? He said, you want to take my daughter, right? He's like, oh, I said, why? 
He's like, I don't know. I said, well, you don't know. So you just take girls out of you. Then he's like, oh, no, no, I like her. I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> so it's like, when you kind of have that, you know what you're choosing up to, it's always, it's always better. Yeah, yeah, I, respect I respect that. Yeah, man. that. Man said, That's a why? different approach. I respect <laughs> that. Because yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. like, nah. <laughs> man, I'm like, nah, man, my daughter can't date yet. Nah. Like, bro, come on, we're She's all, gonna we're someone, all, yeah. all just that age group. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're in different times now. I like that. That's a good That's a good approach. Yeah, definitely. Because we're in different times, bro. Like, that's a, that's one of the least worst things you can hear. Because they're gonna do no. it anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, but they might and they do it with your with yeah, your I mean. guidance. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, I yeah. like that. That's a, that's a good approach. But the, in this day and age, bro, there's a lot of people that are even trying to identify as something else. So even just mm. it being about a normal yeah. dating mm. interaction, that's yeah. probably a bit more positive as well. Yeah. Still, yeah. Than hearing something mad. So true. It's dealing with on a big man thing. I really, it's yeah. still you have to blood, because yeah. obviously there's that thin line between like your kids being your brethren, but not too comfortable but enough to trust yeah. like you said having a yeah. bond like a relationship where you can a safe space to talk basically mm. Mm. and even as well when when you um have that kind of respect from your children like where they they don't see you as some like old corny dad that's going to tell them off for everything yeah. and they can't chat around him and that you can even hear them chatting around you and just mm. ease wax a little bit mm. i'm even you know going, I'm I'm even going uh, to the to a school on friday to do a talk to the, the schools invited me down over there so I'm gonna yeah, go there and just speak to the kids in that as well. So it's very important. How, how deep into this football team did you get, bro? Because I, I feel like you you played like is it semi pro or pro? Yeah, I played semi pro. So what happened was that I'm very good at football. Year six and that from year four, I played for the year six. I don't know if you guys remember a guy called <laughs> Cherno Samba. Of course. Yeah, 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 Samba. Yeah, yeah. So Cherno Samba, he was in year six. Played for Millwall. Yeah, played for Millwall. Yeah, Millwall. Yeah. I was in year five. I'm playing for the district at year five, so mm. and he was in year six. And then what happened was, like I said, these men all went to year seven. They went to Mr. Underwood's school and other schools. Ah, and, they okay. to, and Mr. Underwood told me to go to that school because he's going to be in charge. I didn't. So from year seven to about year 10, I'm not really taking football that seriously, mm. but I'm going to play for little teams and that. And then I thought, actually, what am I doing? I'm actually <laughs> good. So I got back into, I got back, got, got into Fisher Athletic. I was in Fisher Athletic for a few years and then by that time, I'm, I'm kind of deep in what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. But then I got signed to, I signed for Ilford FC, which were a Ryman team at the time. And yeah, then yeah. Ashford Town Minnesota, which was a Ryman Prem team. So that was a very, very good level for my yeah, age, yeah, especially yeah, yeah. as Facts, well. Bro. So it's, but it's like, I want to make as a footballer, mm. but it's not paying as much as I need to compared to the roles. So I've got yeah. that conflict of interest. This is what I was trying to get to because I, I kind of, like you said earlier, I kind of jumped the gun and missed the football. So I'm thinking, how does someone that's got such like a, bright future in, in football, decide to take that journey that way. You know what I mean? It's the, it's the money. It's, it's, it's the money. And the thing is like, I remember I turned 17, I had a madness with my uh, dad at home. I said, mm. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving, man. But at this time, I was studying for four A-levels. I was doing, um, I went to Richmond College, I studied for four okay. A-levels. Yeah, yeah. um, and then I left the house. So I even got a part-time job at Peacocks. And then when I said I moved to that area, I started trying to shot. So I was shot in a bit of weed. Um, working part time in Peacocks, mm -hmm. trying to play football Hustling. and go college. All that's seven, a lot. You all at like seventeen. Yeah, that's a lot. So it's that something I had to give. So the first thing I gave education, like yeah, this yeah, is gonna yeah, work. Yeah, yeah. Part and of then part of the job. what you call it, the job. And then it's football or what you call it, the roads. And then I remember my bedroom come to me one time. Was 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 um, playing Pro Evolution. I don't know about these FIFA man. <laughs> but we're playing. We're playing Pro Evolution. Pro Evo was the one. Let's keep the rope. And now it's FIFA again. We're, we're, we're playing. Apparently. And then uh, I remember I meant to link some girl. She's coming from Leicester. And this Our guy, this, this guy won the money off me. He's like, yeah, I want. I'm like, yo, give me back a bit of money. The girl's, he's not having it. He's not having it. I had to walk home that day, right? I had to walk home and get money elsewhere how somehow, much right? Remember how much? I feel like three bills or something. Oh, right? that's a lot. Three, three, three bills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three bills is a lot. So I don't want to lose that now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm beefing over yeah. three bills at seven. <laughs> so it's like. <laughs> Maybe four or five days later, he's preparing to buy a car, innit? Mm. I've gone there and I've taken maybe like a bag five off of him. Mm -hmm. For the car. No, no, no. Oh, uh, oh, on oh, pro, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, oh, come on, man. A bag five on yeah, pro? On yeah, pro, yeah. Like you're not betting. We were gambling, mad. we were gambling yeah. mad. We were gambling mad. But right? you're in the middle of doing the secure couple of moves. Uh, no, this not yet. No, this, this is how the secure moves came. Oh. So how you getting, how you getting that bag to bet on FIFA like that? Just from pro, no, no, he, him. That's what he done. That's, but that, that's okay. what he, that's what he was doing, right? He's so his I, way. I, yeah, I was, remember, <laughs> I was, remember, I'm just shot in drawers and stuff like that, and also I was working part time people, yeah, but I left that. Team. So 300 pounds. When I've lost that, like that, that was a lot that for me. Like, right, yeah, what's going on? Feelings. And then, like I said, he had a bag five to go and buy a car, so he maybe saved that up, right? <laughs> so I beat him up for a bag five. <laughs> he turned around and he's like, oh, man. he's like, yo, 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 like, come on, man, I need that for my car. I said, bro, you made me walk home the other day when I get what's coming. <laughs> I don't remember that. 
I said no. Ah, I said no. Blood. He's taking the and piss. Exactly. But then this when this how everything happened. He turned around and said, "Yo, trust me. Give back the money. I've got you. I got a move." Okay. I said, "What move?" He said, "Oh, there's this thing that everyone's doing. I know, yeah. security events, mm-hmm. their boxes and that. Popular I got. I remember them days still." I said, "You madman! Yeah, I'm not man doing that. I'm not giving it." I said, "I said me. I'm not. I'm not involved in that, man. This, this, but this is my bedroom from East, right?" Oh, okay. So I said, "I said I'm not doing. I'm not doing that. You're mad." Left him. A couple of days later, you come, come. Let's play. Let's play again. I want to try with my money back. <laughs> right? Went over there. He won his bag five back. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Give him it all back. But then he turned around to me. Go. You know what? I don't even want this money. Keep it, man. What? So I'm like looking at him like. Yeah, you was right. begging for that before. He said, yeah. he said, keep it, man. You don't want. I don't want that, man. So I'm like, I'm taking it. I'm like, you're not getting his back, you know. He's like, nah, take it, take it. He's gone underneath his bed, bought some box, shoe boxing, rack, rack, mad, rack, mad, rack, mad. ten racks. Yeah, he went mental. I said, rah. He's outside. Did you get that? He said, I told you about that move, you know, the security event. My eyes just oh, so lit he out. did it after he after he first told you about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He meant you said he dropped it. Yeah, he mentioned yeah, it. And yeah. He was like, nah. I was yeah, like, yeah. So yeah. My, my my eyes lit up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said. When's the next one? Yeah. Shit, yeah, <laughs> uh, blood, yeah. Shit, shit changes yeah. when you see the cream. When yeah, you actually see the dog. Then, from oh. then, it just we just went ham. We went yeah. ham, ham, ham. But then that all transpired. To, that led to another kid being killed. And then yeah, if you just hit the fan, man, yeah. hit the fan. And well, I think sorry, you're not going no, no, it's cool. No, go on. Now I was saying, I think to like to bring it back to peer pressure as well. Cause I know a little bit about that story and your story. And I remember you speaking something along the lines of like when it came to that situation now. And it was funny because the same thing you said is the same thing happened to my bridging. Mm. Like when you're when you're when you're finally getting released now because they claim to know it's not you. Yeah. My bridging told me, I'll tell you what my bridging said, and similar mm. to your story, he said, look, he was coming out of the station. As, mm. he's, as he's getting led out of the station, mm. they kind of bleed him into an extra. No, let's come in here for a second. Mm. Yeah, mm. They him so you got back, you got bagged for the for the, the M. I didn't get back for it, but I got arrested for it. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So similar to your story, mm. when they tried to say to you, we know it's not you. They, they leave my bridging into this room and they say to him, like, look, no, we know it's not you. Like, and we also know that you got children, you know, you're trying to like, you're mm. doing your things to try to take care of your children. Like, we can help you out. We just need a few names. Mm. Oh. And he's like, what do you mean you can help me out? Like, how much? Mm. Like, oh, like a good sum of money. You can't say how much, but a good sum of yeah. money. And I remember when he told me that story, and I was yeah. like, bro, that is every because not a yeah, lot of people, people if you're really in a desperate situation, bro, say no to that, bro. Yeah, and your family is yeah. really in need. Mm. A man are mm-hmm. approaching you like that, and you're thinking to yourself, I don't even really like them, man. There anyway, mm. or even if you're well, the, you, or, or even if you just haven't got no, no, no decorum, no, no decorum. No, no decorum or no, no actually, do you know what? It's not even decorum because in reality, it's more to do with whether you follow the unwritten codes of the road. Yeah, if you if, if you ain't got if you ain't got no street code in yeah, you, yeah, the street code very team. easily you can take that option. Mm-hmm. Bear man snitch. I'll be absolutely honest with you, man. Right, mm. one of my brethren's right, his brother is a police officer. Yeah, right. And I, I found out by chance, right? Because he's he told us one time, but I even forgot about it. So one girl must have hit me up one time. And she's like, oh my God, I just been on a date. This guy was so horrible. Mm. I'm like, oh, who's the date for? Oh, there's some guy. And when she described him, I just knew my bedroom H's um, brother. Uh, brother. <laughs> he said, yeah, he's bald. He's, what do you call it? He's, he's a black. You guys might not know him because you guys, you guys might know this officer because he's, he's, apparently he works around here, right? right? Here, yeah. uh, Northwest side. Okay, yeah, uh, right. Black, no, no, black, no. a black. Uh, He's a black officer, bald head, hench, right? So she went, I went on a date with this guy, and like, <laughs> oh, he was talking about, yeah, he's a police officer, and blah, blah, blah. And we're talking, chatting. yeah, he's just chatting, yeah, yeah, he's chatting yeah, yeah, things, yeah. though. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah. yeah. He was telling me how, how they, what do you call it, how they like to, how he likes to arrest young people, and how they get their informants. He was saying that basically, like, a Bragging kid. to the girl, yeah, 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 yeah. That, A kid will do something silly or stupid, and because they're not going to be in trouble, that they'll, say, they'll take him back to his house and go, look, what do you call it? If you don't get in trouble, give us names of what's going on in the area. Mm. Like, like, and the kid might say something, right? And once he says something, the government said, well, you have to keep telling us. Because if you don't tell us, we're going to tell it's everyone that you snitch yeah, gonna, yeah, grass. Yeah, 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 and they've got that kid for life. Mm. And then she went on to say 30, that 30. he said to him, every single gang in the UK, right? Every single gang in the UK has one person that is telling. Yeah, 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 100% bro. One person that is telling. Informant. There's always one person. And then also another Confidential thing is that informants. there's a lot of people who they allow to get away with things. Right? Trying to say that. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah, allow yeah. you to get away with things, but for you to keep shutting, they'll say, okay, we're giving yeah, you another five years, yeah. but you have to let let them man, like give, give us a few names. And they'll be like, right, cool. Let me put a box over there and yo, all right, you man. We, Jason, Jason over on Yellow yeah, Brick kind yeah, of thing. He, he, yeah, yeah, he's, 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 he's a bit of crap. He, yeah, he's got, he got. Yeah, it's class he, A. But these times, They've said that, but mm. they also set Jason up. They're like, yo, yeah. yo, like, I've got some food, come and pick it up and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jason yeah, gets snitched. Yeah, now yeah, Jason's yeah. confused, like, oh, 
I didn't know about this kind of thing. Because this man so has sacrificed. So they didn't even more, yeah. Yeah, it yeah, happens, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 man, you don't rate or something. Dirty game, bro. Yeah. So dirty game. And this, this, this officer was telling this girl thing, and she like, I couldn't believe what he boasting said. Boasting about it. Yeah, boasting yeah. about it. He said, I couldn't believe it, that this had to infiltrate young yeah. young kids, basically. And there's a, lot, there's a lot of man as well that's never really taken part in any particular street stuff, but mm. he grew up in the hood. Yeah. And they honour the code of the streets, even mm. as a civilian. Yeah. But then you get people that, like, they actually have a right to tell. Yeah. Because they're a taxpaying civilian that might be married with a family and whatnot. That's something that's said to my yeah, like, and then, but I, then the dirtiest guy in the game was was Nick. Yeah, that's but that, they that, won't. It's that's weird. what that's what scared yeah. me when I came out of the road to ever get involved in it. Feel like I'm like, yeah. yeah. I don't know who the fuck to trust in these roads. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I go and pick up someone, someone one, and then start saying to myself, you know what? Nah, mm. the road yeah. thing is long, and let me just be legitimate. Yeah, yeah. facts, bro. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. So similar to what you said, like, yeah, they they, they, they try to prove that, yeah, yeah, we can get you signed to Man United. We know Alex Ferguson. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, never said that. Never said that. On my life, on my life. They said, yeah, we got links, man. If it, as soon as I'm like, I'm like, yeah, man, cool, man. That's funny. As soon as the gun though, they fit the man. They fit the man. Ah, blood. As soon as the gun, I just go over and say that. Yeah, you know, you know, Fed just come to my house and they're saying all this. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, that is mental. It's mad. It's mad. But, that, but that's how, similar to happened to you, to your vision, yeah. that's how they try to infiltrate you. So yeah. there'll be one person who will think about it. Like, yeah. Actually, what? Yeah, Might like be worth said, doing. I don't know them, man. Yeah, and, then what certain, man. and what certain man tried to do is... Did he even write to me is, and that? Is try, yeah. try, they try to say, well, you know, I'm going to give you a few names of the man that, that that's, that's, my, that's my ops. Mm. And it makes the situation even mm. worse, blood. Because like mm. you say, they put them in that situation where it's like, well, boom, we're going to tell them you did it. Yeah. And if you don't give us more, then we're going to... That's crazy, bro. Yeah, the road is fucked, It's bro. crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. The best thing you could do is choose not to do road no more. Yeah. Mm. But that's the, As a person, I, I think personal choice. With me, it's like, I think that's why I, I respect my friends. It's like, because when I started doing this whole TV thing, mm. and I started, like, I guess, changing my direction or my, my trajectory in terms of my life, it's like, I had to kind of be real with my, my people and be like, look, like, if there's certain things in the car, I can't. Be in the whip, yeah. You get me? Like, they've Straight. got me on TV yeah. talking about these Andy very Vi- issues. Andy Vibe, Andy Nice Channel 4. Issues. Yeah, fact, yeah, Channel 5 He's done some big documentaries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so I was like, just, just respectfully, like, I love everyone, but if there's certain things around, Allow I just, me. I just need to make sure that I'm not in those vehicles mm. because if we get stopped, I'm not going to snitch. Yeah. And my whole career is gone. Done. Yeah. Done the drain. is gone. You and you're not even on all that. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Some fear, in fact. So you're right to do that. I think with all the youth, there comes a point that... When you're 13 till about 18, you're not really listening to anyone. You think, oh, these old men are yeah, telling me. Yeah. Cause I get so many referrals, so many people's parents call me say, can you come and chat to my kid? Yeah. Or I'll come and chat to the kid. The guys, if they're listening, yeah. A couple of weeks later, mom told me, oh, he's gone to jail. Yeah, I'm quickly. Like, yeah, 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 it's yeah. nuts. But I think it comes to a point where, a point of maturity when you realize, mm. this wasn't even bloody worth it. Yeah. Cause Love. how many people from the hood have successfully gone on and transitioned to successful business people, mm-hmm. not many. Okay. Now not there's, a, there's an angle between because of the music and, and the, the platforms are open for. But that. before that, yeah. no one's been cutting you. You have a guy in jail, you're getting nicked, yeah. or, 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 or or you're dead, or you just washed. Or you're just washed. Many, broke many, outside. Many people you're know like yeah, my, my man's not in the bed shop and that. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah mad. A lot of bookies them are crap, bro. Mm. Yeah, bookie stuff. Yeah, like it's, it, I can't like I get sad. When Especially Northwest as well, bro. Yeah, I get sad when I see it. Like man, I'm like bro. My man has actually lost his mind. And he was a real one. A real one. Yeah, yeah blood. Talking to fucking lamppost and that. Yeah. I've seen that, blood. You get me talking? I'm talking to the sky, blood. Yeah. And doing like this here. Sky, bo- yeah, shadow boxing. Sky, mm. Yeah, it gets wicked out here, bro. The sky, brain. Bro. That's why, like, um, health and your mental is like, you got to pray for it, bro. Yeah, and you have to pray for, like, that you get guided to make the right decisions. That's what I always feel like. You know what they don't teach us? They don't teach us that you can make more money legitimately. Oh, yeah. Then yeah. on the road. Oh yeah. yeah. Without the risk. Without the oh, risk. Because yeah. you weigh up the risk reward anyway, innit? Yeah. So it's like, cool, if you I like I I got one bridge in yeah. He's Angolan as well, mm. actually. And I remember one time like he kind of retired me from that. Like mm. he said, Blood, straight <coughs> up, if you ain't clearing five a week minimum, mm. what's the point? Bro, you go go be an estate agent, yeah. pay a bit of tax, yeah. but you don't have to look over your shoulder, bro. Mm. You don't have to worry about who's following you. <laughs> who's listening to your calls. I got sorry, I was, I just got I just got this um I remember this story. I remember Growing up, I'm from Harlesden yeah. in Northwest London, and I remember being on. Um, I'm not gonna say where I was, but in a certain area, <laughs> and I remember one of the olders said, um, "Got us all like kind of like, kind of like a meeting, you know? It's kind of like a, it was like, like a meeting. The meeting on the block, and he was like, look, I'm gonna say it from now. If you're on the roads, <laughs> to, <laughs> just trying to get trainers." And gal, come off of the roads. All you doing is hotting on the roads for the man there. But I was <laughs> yeah, straight, man. Like, it's true, man. I was thinking, yeah, it was true. Clean air forces yeah. and Jordans. I was yeah, like, straight, you know what? Like, big him up because he, he made a bro. good point. Mm. He made a good point. Like, if you're not really in this, 
then come off of it because yeah. you're gonna you're hurting out for us and you're hurting out for yourself. One foot in, one foot out, it's not gonna yeah, work, bro. Yeah, I'll be honest. Yeah, yeah, and I never forget that. And that's why when you were telling me your story, mm. I just it just kind of started making me giggle because I remember that moment. Yeah, yeah facts, bro. But you had a good point though, right? Yeah. But if you're no, doing five a week, it's yeah. it's, 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 it's and, and it's true. Like there's some olders who will know, like this ain't for my man kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Raver, big up Raver, right? He seems like a good guy, bro. Yeah, proper good guy. You, when, on your channel. Yeah, yeah, when, yeah, yeah, when you see him, you never know. Yeah. Like this guy is the Heavy. stories you hear, yeah, kind of thing, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember Chocadero Ch- Ch- was basically pecking. That's dead boy. Yeah. Hey, I got my TN hat rubbed yeah, there when yeah. I tried by the man. We, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had yo, it's for you. It's for you. It's for me, Bobby. I don't realize. And he's heartbroken. Hey, I had the baby blue. Tell me to do this one, man. I'm from the heartbroken. You know, you know what year it was? I went to the Oxide and Neutrino signing in in a Virgin or Tower Tower Records, and then we went Chocadero after. Man tried to rub, but they didn't try. They did. They rubbed me from my hat. Yeah, I mean that's what that's what everyone. On, but I remember my, boy, my friend like, got bought up by Peckham, you said as well. Yeah, yeah it's peak. It's they crazy, ran that man. shit. That was their shit. We Sorry, was there, <laughs> with, that was there every single week, right? And I remember one Friday, like everyone's linked up. Every weekend, but, didn't it? But more time, I'll go with my age group. But this time, all the olders are coming there as well. Heavy. Like everyone the was there. The whole of Nam's there. Yeah, they're there, all going. Parked. And then I remember I'm getting ready to go. <laughs> Raver told my brother, yeah, your brother can't come. Sit down. I'm today. like, why not? He's like, yeah. Really, like, no, nah, no, nah, you're not coming, you're not coming. Mm. And my brother said, Yeah, they say you can't come. <laughs> I'm like, Why can't I come? <laughs> so he never told me the reason why. He never ever told me the to. reason why. But looking back now, he just thinking, nah, This guy's a good kid, man. Yeah, like, don't, you don't bring you him don't to, you have to You yeah, don't have to get involved in that kind of thing. But it's like, <laughs> going on other occasions where. <laughs> We seen us get into fights like no one run, no one run. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you always been bad boy today, yeah. then yeah. But, no, but, but, but I, I, you said that about the older. I remember like he was one that told me like yeah, like remember everyone's guy. He's like yeah, you, you can't come. So he's looking out for you already because yeah, he knows bro. your trajectory. They can different. see, they yeah. can see even even if we're posing. Yeah. Like we are here, and we're about like a, a wiser older person can see. Ain't got that's you're, a not, you're not mm. really on this. Mm. There, there's maybe more for you outside mm. of this. You get me, and I think that's why your story is so important because I feel like you've gone through the motions of it all, bro. Yeah. You've gone through trying to make a football team work and still making it work through, your, through your struggles. Making it, yeah. And then going to jail, unfortunately, you get me, but then coming out and the success story <laughs> after. And the one thing I read about you, yeah, is that you are a true definition of a hustler because nah, you, yeah, that, yeah, that's you first, clocked, yeah, first you and foremost. Clocked, you clocked a paradigm. You clocked to like, okay, this is what you kind of need football, to do. Football, social mm-hmm. media, And then just blogging, the way that you're podcast. able to like, go on, like, because there was a time when you were doing like a promo run, bro. Mm. You were doing like near enough every major news um, station there was. And that's <laughs> incredible. No, it's not funny. It's, <laughs> no, it's funny, bro. That's an incredible it's smart. Problem. That's why. Bro, like, some of us that are in the game. industry, we tried to find a way to do promo for, when we got stuff come out. You did it naturally and authentically. Yeah. And that allowed for more, for more, for more clout or more like promo to be put onto the, to, to the yeah. good things that you're doing mm. where you're saying look I'm going to do a football club and I want man that um, yeah, have come yeah, from yeah. A, a difficult background yeah. like, to come, play to come and play for yeah. man because football teaches discipline yeah. and you know that yeah. you get me? and that's how you're 100. using it to help because like me yeah. I, I do a lot of work in the community as yeah. well so I I like when I see different angles and your angle is powerful bro yeah. but your story is even more powerful so it must be told no I appreciate it, man like between uh, as I'm saying I'll say it here right now I think I've said it on um, when we were talking before it's been a long process alright Pound's got enough um, good episodes yeah. <laughs> they, 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 they got Pound they're actually making a show about it oh for real about a, a guy who comes out of jail starts mm. their own football club so there's a um, couple of networks they, they bought the rights ages ago back in 2019 yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah good. that's a must so yeah, that's, that's must. gonna be coming out as soon as you just told the story of that so it's like you should, should, yeah, should act yeah. in it as well my guy you know what, I might do, you know. Should, I might yeah, tell them, yeah, I might tell them, yeah, why not? Should, a little yeah. cameo on that as yeah, well. But the thing yeah. is that, remember, I've been out of jail eight years now. Mm. Yeah? And normally, you might have your little media run for like a year, year and a half, but I've managed to keep everything relevant yeah. for eight years because you have it's to impressive. keep yourself out there. You're good at, you're good at talking, though, bro. Yeah. It's impressive. Yeah. You, know how to, you know how to tell your story. Mm. Some people, they're not very... Um, I can't articulate it well. Yeah. And you're honest. A bit messy. Yeah, yeah you're, and you're honest, honest too. You you don't play down the fragility. Mm. Like the like bad even, parts. even here with us, yeah. you're like you're saying, blood, I did certain things and I went home and cried. A lot of men would never they tell never, you. Yeah, that's yeah. facts. Uh, according to everyone, no one's cried when they go into jail. But yeah. we all know that everyone probably cries. Cries themselves yeah. to sleep every night. Jail, you know what I mean? So I think it's the honesty. Yeah. Like, I personally like to see it. Vulnerability, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I respect it. People relate to it. For me, you're a real man. No, I appreciate yeah. it. When I see vulnerability, you're a raw man. Because you're talking about raising kids and yeah, and, and that's um, real. looking out for the youth and that's the, the gangster community. 
That's the first thing you start with community, yeah. community, community. Yeah. That's very telling, bro. You get me? A lot of people they don't care about the yeah, community, bro. bro. They just, even if they front it, they won't be able to front it for long because it's mm. not real. Mm. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So and we're not gonna save everyone. And you're right because I'm I'm a behavior specialist. So I specialize in dealing with challenging behavior mm. in young adults. Mm. I had to get my head around quickly that I'm gonna take more L's than than yeah. than, than um than wins, mm. and it's the hardest thing. Car, you really tend you put your 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 heart, your soul, your energy into these young men and young women, but I had to really realize that we're gonna take more L's. Yeah, 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 definitely. But it's worth it. Those one or two that we do help Counts, or connect bro. with, mm. they're so important yeah. because those one or two might go and help a one or two people, yeah. more, and it's hundred percent, bro. It grows. That's it when you start valuing natural. people. Yeah, do you bro. get me? That's the thing. With like, you can lose faith in humanity easy, yeah, yeah. bro, mm. because everyone there's a lot of scumbags. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But re- and a lot of people snake you, a lot yeah. of people um, cut you short on deals where you're and supposed to get paid. there's a lot of people paid. that come from very unfortunate situations yeah. as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get me? So their behaviour, like you said, yeah. is bad, bruv, because it's almost kind of like a broken home behaviour, mm. in a way, you know what I'm trying to say? So, a lot of it is broken home. Yeah. Like a lot of the youths that I work with, unfortunately, they don't have family. Mm. They don't know the concept of family. Of like a father figure, head of the family. They don't and have that. any family, yeah. they've grown up in care or stuff. I'm, I'm not saying that growing up in care makes you... Um, means you're, you're lost or you've got no yeah. trouble. I know a lot yeah, of people Yeah, because some man made it out and done well. They've done yeah. Yeah. amazingly, but what I'm saying is, is that when you don't have, because even though like I talk my story or whatever, you talk your story, we both have parents, right? Yeah. Mm. I mean, I mean, and you had two parents, yeah. right? You I had, had two, four parents, had to be four, fair. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? I had two parents <laughs> growing, growing up. Like, That's bad stuff. That was a privilege. Mm. In fact, I didn't always talk about it because most of my people only had maybe the one. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, is that we had parents. Mm. We had a structure that we could go back to and fall But my dad used anything. to whoop my ass, bro. Yeah, but you had quickly. him yeah, to go yeah, back yeah, yeah. to. Mm. I rated Imagine him. I not having anything. As well. I feared mm. my pops. Imagine it all me. being you. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? So that's why you got to find your way I with no guidance. No one. Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah judge no one. And it's life ain't easy, you know? Nah. Life, life in, bro. I remember speaking to Kai's. You know Kai's? Like from from SN1. I don't know him personally, but I know he is. You know, you know Kai's. I remember speaking to Kai's and Kai's explaining to me, and I hope he doesn't mind me talking about this, but Kai's explaining to me that he was an orphan, bro. Oh, like shit. he lost both of his parents. I wow. think both of his parents might have passed away at a very young age. Yeah, that's age. sad, bro. And he wanted to kind of tell that story. And I was like, I remember him telling me a few things, and I'm like, fuck, fucking hell, bro. Get him on, bro. Tell yeah, him. Yeah, powerful, him on, powerful. Yeah, powerful. And I wouldn't have known that. Mm. But then now, when I listen back to certain tracks and I hear you talking about certain things and how you spoke about them, it kind of makes sense now mm. because of what because of what you came from and the, and the fact that you had to be a, a lone soldier, yeah. so to speak. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, man, it's about understanding people's backgrounds before we judge. It's them hard to them. understand, isn't it, as yeah, well? I mean, yeah, because if you can't relate to it straight away, yeah, it's gonna yeah, be yeah, difficult. Yeah, like people, me. people live in middle class homes, both parents. Think they can't happen to them. Yeah, they think it can't happen to them. Yeah, it's true stuff. Open you know, mind. Open your mind. You sleeping home eight years, yeah? yeah. So big up for that, and yeah. amen. You're never there again, bro. Yeah. But you see, like, yeah, nah, definitely not. He's not gam. He's he's on bigger things now. He's he's big ego now. You get me? He's got the Hadley Wicker. Big ego though. So before you move on, big ego. Why? Cause what? Cause you had a big ego yourself, like what? Sick name though. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hard name. Hard name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is yeah. hard. That is hard. I created in Asian B Ford. Just okay. for, just okay. for yeah, I remember yeah. me and my bridge Oscar, bigger Oscar Mukasa. And Oscar. I said in them, oh yeah, I wanna create like a platform to help young people when they come out or people it's more so about books really. Because oh, okay. I was writing books in jail. I said, yeah, let me have a platform oh, where people can actually go and purchase books and digital books basically. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, me and my bridge and Taff, um, it's a ten gears. Like me and him. Oh, is that your dog? Yeah, yeah. I saw him on Sprays thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He seems like a good, good yeah, brother yeah. still. He's like, yeah. I'll get, I'll get into him as well. Yeah, explain yeah, yeah, yeah. Him, right? But like, I met him in jail, right? And me and him, we were like the two best players in the jail. Okay. So oh, we, we, we had a battle oh, like every week. Well, yeah, yeah, the ball as well. We had a battle every week. Oh, Spray so, try call you. He try to say that on Spray's thing as well. Spray yeah. try like, nah, but everyone says that. Mm. So you're saying he no, actually no, no, is? No, no, yeah, he's a baller. No, he's a baller. He's a baller. He's gonna love that culture. Yeah, yeah. And the thing is that. It was like the battle of the eagles, basically. So, oh. so then it's like, oh, you know what? Okay. Let me actually make this a thing. I'm gonna call it Big Eagle Media because it's gonna be something like empowering you kind of thing. Like, hey, why, why? Don't small out like yourself. If you mm, think mm, you're good mm, at something, mm. talk about it. Yeah, facts. But someone told me one saying I always use to this day: the quiet baby doesn't eat. Mm. Right. So why am I being quiet about my achievements? Why am I being quiet mm-hmm. about my talent? I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna have a big ego about it, yeah. right? Yeah. So and that, 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 that's how it came about. So even if you, I, like I wrote two books in jail. If you see, oh. go on, if you go on Amazon and you see the two yeah. books, yeah, they be out from. I release them. I, I release them. I release them from prison. Hard. And, yeah, I read that book. Yeah, that's proper story, you know. Yeah, so yeah, that's I released right. it in 2014. Don't hear many man say part that. Part one and part two. A week before I got released, I released what part two. What jails were allowing that? What, what jails were you in at that time? Oh, that's a pattern, man. So uh, the <laughs> HMP, <laughs> ISIS, <laughs> HMP, <laughs>
Did you just email I, 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 I was, I was, yeah, I was like, I was studying for a degree while I was in jail. Oh shit! Uh, so I was allowed to go to uh, through via the Open University. I was allowed to go to smart, the smart. education yeah, department. Yeah. So when, so when I kind of <laughs> yeah, finished yeah. my coursework, I'm just typing on yeah, the computer. Yeah, and then yeah. there's a couple of teachers who bring burn a disc and then they'll burn the disc and I'll <laughs> hand out the disc outside and then people could upload it for me. So yeah, in the end, my sister uploaded the whole, uh, what you call it. Um, the whole uh, what you call it pro, uh, file for me then even some guy designed the actual um, enjoy designed the cover mm. got that printed sent oh, that to dope, him as well bro. so yeah so done that uh, and then if you look at those if you look at those books right you, you know what it, says big, it says big eagle media on those books from then back mm. in 2014 but then Sick. when I came out I, it kind of died down. I didn't. I didn't bother with it again. That for makes a sense while. though, because mm. you ain't got time to sit down and write yeah, again. Yeah, you got kids, yeah. family. You got the podcast. Oh, you utilize team. all your time. Yeah, because mm. no matter what situation you're in. In in jail, right? Remember, on road, I'm licking boxes, making money. Everyone's mm. everyone's laughing. Everyone's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, I go yeah. in jail. Money's done. Feds took the money. Who's Life gets real, innit? Yeah, who's sending me pee? No mums sending me pee. Yeah. Not really. It's no, mums. But mums is more so like supportive. Who told you to go and do this? Okay, yeah, yeah. Is it? That yeah, tough love. Tough love. Like, yeah. So it's like, you have to deal with it. Yeah. So then I'm thinking, you make okay. your bed, you lay in it, kind of thing. How am I going to pattern? I'm here for a little while. How am I going to pattern? Right? I started clocking my environment. Right? I remember this when I was still at HAP Right Hill. Right? We used to have a lot of these old school Essex gangsters and that. They like to place their bets on their horses and stuff. Mm -hmm. But they're in jail now. They can't really do nothing. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So I remember Grand National was coming. So I got the newspaper. So I told everyone, yo, Grand National. Um, everyone, um, it's five pound entry. <laughs> you 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 you, 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 you have to you have to pick um, a horse out, right? Whatever it is, and everyone's picking their horses out, paying five pound entry. Whoever's horse wins, everyone all, all their five pound, yeah. half of it will go to that person. The other half will go to me. <laughs> and, 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 and I and I organize it, right? I like done that. Nifty, so, nifty. so after I done that, Shut I started up. studying the thing. Oh, is that? Awesome. <laughs> it's like doing football bets. Yeah, so yeah, it's supposed yeah. to do the football pools where people say predict yeah, that the pools things and I'll take a percentage of that. Yeah. That's like doing the football bets. I was like, these betting shots make crazy money because mm. the, the house always wins, right? Yeah, it so always. I started saying, okay, so like I'll look in the newspaper, say Blackburn to beat Arsenal is 40 to 1. I ain't gonna go 40 to 1, but I can't afford that. Yeah, I might yeah. say 20 to 1, whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But even if you won, 50 next man lost. Yeah, so those on. men are paying you. <laughs> you see it, those men are paying you. And that's how I started doing that. And then I, I opened up a blackjack table. That was the biggest money maker, oh, 21 okay. blackjack. I bought the chips and everything. So people used to come and do Oh, blackjack. there was a few fights over that though. Blackjack. Yeah, do you know do you know who I nearly, uh, do you know I nearly <laughs> had a fight with? I nearly had a fight with uh, Big Up uh, G Money. What uh, from Wood Green, not not him though. Oh, his, his brother, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, his brother Gainer. Gainer, that. Yeah, big, big, yeah, Gainer's been locked up for a yeah, while. He's, 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 been out, he's been he's been out for a good little while now. Yeah, yeah I didn't know that. Like, yeah. I know he's done a bit of bird though. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah. me and him nearly had a fight over it as well because there was one time when the house was losing. So when you're losing, like everyone's winning, the whole the whole the tables, everyone's yeah, winning, yeah, yeah. and like you know where you're, he's cracking jokes, he's cracking jokes, winding man yeah, up, winding yeah, man yeah, up, and you know yeah, you're just yeah. pissed because you're losing. The dice came. And he wants to say something like, "Shut up, you don't me shut money, up." Run my like, money. Mm. Like, come, come to the cell now. He's like, "What?" So <laughs> I've, 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 I've gone to my cell, and then um, he's gone to his cell. He's come back, and I, I don't know how in right he was allowed it. But he had an olive oil bottle, right? <laughs> he's like, "What?" The glass one. Yeah, the glass one. <laughs> what on a liquid? I'm like, "Do it then. Do it then. If you're bad, do it." And then. Rest in peace, man. Stilts. He was uh, from um, Wood Green as well. He's like, nah, man, nah, you Chill man, out. fire, man. And my next bedroom as well um, from Peckham was there. Nah, nah, man, you man, like, chill out, chill out, chill out. But always <laughs> chill, entrepreneurial, man. always entrepreneurial. But the thing is that I always got on with one. If I lost, I paid. That's right? Yeah, if yeah. I, I, I was straight flying guy, yeah, I, I, yeah. I didn't owe no one money, no one. Money. And if someone owed me money, I was have dialogue oh, with them. Like, yo, yeah, yeah, what's yeah. going on with that? Yeah. If someone's trying to take the piss, you put a bit of pressure and mm. normally it would be sorted kind of thing. But it's more so like, I'm a kind-hearted guy. I don't start trouble with no one. Mm. But don't mind believe me, you yeah. start trouble with me, I, I, yeah. I get petty yeah. and I get stubborn kind of thing. Yeah. And that's what happened in HAP Ice with some of these young youths as well yeah. that was there. But, but yeah, Just man. Like that yeah, so like in jail, I, I used to just make money for myself and literally I had a shop. My shop was crazy. So say someone come, yeah, I don't know if you guys can do prom. Or they can't see that, can you? No, nah. nah, no, yeah. it's gone. Cool, let's say someone uh, bought uh, a pack of sweets. Yeah. And I say, I say, I got a pack of sweets. You ain't got a pack of sweets. So this week, you want a pack of sweets? Uh, yeah, take it, man. Bring me back two next week. Mm. Cool. Okay. To okay. the point that we're three men are taking sweets. So, so now I've got six. But it must next be a lot of Owen going on as well, though. Yeah, taking it. But the, 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 the officers, you know, the prison officers, right? They're quite cool as long as you're not causing any trouble. No violence. Co in co it. My, yeah, my, yeah. my cell is like a shop. 
Like literally, little, like little, you go in there underneath the shops, bed, literally shop. everything there. So like, you man come and get Brits biscuits. Yeah, and yeah, that, yeah you man come and get noodles. drinks, yeah. and then yeah, you 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 want you take four, bring me back six next week. Yeah, yeah, and then what happened yeah, when yeah, I have yeah. like a, I might have like fifty drinks. Someone mm. say, you know what? Let me just send you some money. So they'll call the people back home and say, yo, transfer that. Put, put eighty pound in my man's account. I'm gonna mm. take a crisp. I'm gonna take a sardine. I'm gonna take some uh, burn. Yeah, yeah, take, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and that's how I just patterned. Like literally, that's how I lived in prison. And then. With that, it allowed me. Yeah, it allowed me to actually send money to my my, my, my my daughter for when she went on a bike. I had money to buy a bike. Yeah, Daddy's not, Daddy's not, not around, amazing. but I could do that kind of thing. So, you kind of so, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. so it got, 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 got to the point where people from outside are asking me for money. I'm like, yeah. I'm in jail. What do you mean? Are you asking me for money for? <laughs> they heard about you. Yeah. So shop in there. So it's like that. So I think Pringles. I think with everything, right. You have to always be a man and look, yeah. see your surroundings mm. and don't be afraid to actually put the work in and work hard and yeah, make things yeah, yeah. A lot of men are though. Yeah, You're right. Yeah. A lot of men, they're, they're scared to work, bro. They won't do a day's work, fam. Mm. They'd rather wait for you to get it and rob you. 100%. Yeah. But this you is know, why I love like yeah. these conversations because obviously everyone knows Big, o, Big, Big Ego Media, everyone knows Bobby Kasanga, but I feel like you just telling me some of these stories is making me understand where it all comes from. Yeah. Because mm. off camera, he was yeah. like, oh, I, oh, you got someone that sets up your camera. I have to do my own. Yeah, mm. You hear that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I rate that all. Yeah. That's hard because it means that he's, he's yeah. doing everything. You get yeah. me? But it's 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 telling because it, it just means that you're a man. It doesn't matter where you gonna are. Going to make it happen. You're going to make, you're going to, you, you strategize. Yeah. What can I do here? Say, say we're locked inside this room right now, yeah? And we can't get outside this room for whatever reason. <laughs> Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll find a way. Like you will find a way to I'll pattern something. Find a way. You'll probably have me, you probably have me and you buying them sweets. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm making a joke, but what I'm saying is that's yeah, testament yeah, yeah. to a man's character. Yeah, 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 yeah. Someone, once told, someone once told me this, right? <laughs> they said it's, 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 one, it's one of these. How much, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Big. <laughs> it's one of these um, <laughs> these Essex gangsters uh, from um, that was in jail with, right? These big cocaine dealers, right? Yeah. They said it because they just loved me. They're like, proper as well, though. Yeah, yeah, they would love me. They got honor in their team, like brother. Was like, yeah. you know, right? If you didn't come to prison, mm. right, and you didn't get involved in the role, you mm. put your mind in the right thing, you would have been a millionaire a long time ago. Yeah, lot, yeah, facts. They're not lying, bro. And I, and I, and I, and it, right and it resonated with me. Then that's that's what I said to myself. Yeah, when I come out, man, this this have to make it work. It's long. This road thing's long. So it's been on my grind, working mm. hard, and just doing everything legitimately mm. from, from, from the get go. Do you keep contact with them as well. Or you lose contact with them. Yeah. Fuck them, man. You know what? You know <laughs> what? Yeah, you know, they might. They might. Yeah, you know but sometimes what? you have to leave no, the jail, no, man. No, them no. on, on hold. You know, there's, 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 certain, there's certain people that I'll keep. Like for example, we talked about Mr. Ten Gears, right? Yeah, yeah. It's construction now, isn't it? Yeah, you got out yeah. of jail. You got out of jail, and I put made in the captain of Hackney Football Club. Mad. Sick. Yeah. I remember one time we lost a big sponsor in Hackney FC. So Hackney FC was like literally on mm. his knees, right? We used to go out fundraising with our buckets. Mm-hmm. Oh, for real! Like, literally yeah, with our buckets, work, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like people look at me like, "Yo, we didn't. We outside." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, we're, we're "You ain't scared of the work, right? though." Yeah. yeah, you ain't scared. And of people drive past, beat me like, "Yo, swear down, it's Bobby." I'm surprised mm. no one ever put that on social media, like. Yeah. But, but Mr. Ten yeah. Gears, why rate him? Yeah, Mr. Ten Gears was out there with me. Yeah, grinding, grinding. But what we what we would understand though, right? People said, "Ah, what this man doing?" But we would understand that. Stand out there for eight hours, mm. you can make anything between 600 and a bag. Mm. Different now, think about that for the whole week. Yeah, 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 yeah your job wrong. ain't paying you that. You're no. laughing at man doing yeah, that, true. but every man that mm-hmm. goes past is a pound. Is a pound, yeah. 600 people give you a pound, yeah. that's 600 pounds. Sometimes, man, I give you 20 pounds, yeah, mm. but it ain't clock. Yeah. And that's what we was doing to <laughs> fund the football club to make yeah. it work. Yeah. So, Big. that's why there's certain people that that's, that's so why Mr. Ten is someone like even now. Like he's got a new job, he just got a promotion the other day, and how that's come about through our sponsors. You, mean, you see, when people come and sponsor Henry mm. Football Club, I say don't just give us money. I'll happily take the money, one hundred percent. But what else can you do for the people that I work with? Community. Exactly. So yeah, a company yeah, yeah. called Shout Out London Fire Solutions, right? Pick them up, bro. They they came and sponsored um, our football team last year. They gave us mo- money to be our match day sponsors mm-hmm. for the um, polos. Down the front of the shirt and that. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, the polo yeah, top yeah, yeah. And I told them, okay, what else can you do? They said, you know what? We can offer five of your people a job. Oh shit! Amazing, yeah. bro. 
five people got that job. That's amazing. Mr. Ten Gibbs is one of them that's bro. working there now. Manager, just manager. got promoted the manager over there as well. Dope. Site manager. Big, big, big. So you see it? So big. that's how I give back to my community in terms of like, yeah, now these people That's now, way more important than lending my money for yeah, a box, bro, yeah, and shit like yeah. that, bro. So it's like, they're man, they, they, they've got careers, they've got a yeah, pathway. Can build. Like, they can build. You've you got, a, you got a, most importantly, you, you got an opportunity mm. to do something, to make something a something for your family. Yeah, yeah. Like, you take the, the link, now you sure turn. Like, someone that, like, what I got into, you outside of this and that I got into like um, finance at one yeah. point and that like broken in it so it's like the person that bust me on the thing was was like a real brother mm. from Tottenham but just happened to know one Asian brother that was looking for a broker you get me and he was like my guy can sell anything bro. Yeah. trust me like chat to him boom 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 so once they open that door he's done me a lifetime favour now he's put me in the game bro that's like a man if you're on the roads isn't it? mm. it's like a man putting you on the yeah. on the, on the, the game yeah, it's but, it's, but, it's, but it's better because it's legit yeah. mm. do you know what I'm trying to say so that opportunity now get, got me to where I'm, where I'm going with life do you, you know, know what I'm saying so certain men don't like helping others they want to be the only person the in only, the village yeah yeah it's right? dead. that's why me and Major think always have um, conversation because where he would say, bro, you didn't even have to tell me that. I'll give him some advice mm. on certain things. He's like, bro, you didn't even have to tell me that. But same way, he might tell me a few things as well. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And I always tell him the same thing. <clears throat> Remember, I'm doing a blog page as well, but we're never in competition. Nah. Different. I, I, see, I see it as we are colleagues yeah. working in different departments. 100%. Mm. 100%. There's 8 billion people in the UK, yeah. right? And so, you can't get them all. Yeah. Not one person. Yeah, so like, more, we, I, 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 I couldn't be over there and said, yo, I don't know what happened with the Instagram algorithm, but literally three of my, four of my videos are a madness. Right. Right. One of them got 6.5 million views what on Instagram. Yo, that's hard though. That's it's hard. mad. 6.5 and, and, yeah, and I yeah, pinned yeah. it. Come like TikTok. And another yeah. one's got um, oh, 3.5 million. You know, I saw yeah, that. Yeah. I saw that. I see it this morning. And another one got 3.5 million views. What were they? What, what, what? So one of them was on um, one uncle uh, went to some um, event and it's a trans yes, it dance to transgenders. And he found that like oh I saw that yeah you yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I can't, I can't do this yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that so, was a legendary yeah. one so I don't I don't know why that video why resonated so much though? yeah <laughs> but it's got six point five million uh, views yeah it's going mad fifteen thousand comments That's insane. and yeah. then um, seven hundred thousand likes insane. I don't get that and then the, f the couple of days later the Will Smith one the Will, where, yeah, 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 the, that yeah, got like, yeah, yeah that got like yeah, yeah. 3.5 million and then 200,000 likes yeah, that's crazy, and then there's one bro. when I talk about the, the snake within where it's in my bedroom I I'm that. calling a snake I saw that one yeah, yeah. yeah I see that so that's on over 400,000 views but just through those four videos and there's another one where there's a, a white guy um, um, he's marrying an um, Angolan girl and uh, what you call it, <laughs> doing a traditional dance. Yeah, yeah, but he's yeah, yeah. doing uh, what you call it. So with that one, that's your culture yeah, as well. They've, kind all of got, thing. they've all got mad views. Yeah, and that one, added I can imagine. Eight thousand new followers to my page. Yeah, it's like that. serious. But what I've told, I, I, I shout made you think. I told him, like, yo, I don't know what's happened here, but this is what I post, and this is what. So I'm not afraid to share knowledge. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it is. Be share knowledge with everyone. Let yeah, people bro. know this is how you can do that's it. That's how we will evolve. This is how you can. A win. This is how we can build ourselves up a community. Yeah. How many people know how to get grants? Yeah, no, hardly any. I, I do now, but yeah. I don't. Yeah. don't. It's, it's yeah. long. It's yeah. quite yeah. tedious. Yeah. No, it, it is. They make it tedious. Yeah, you yeah. gotta go through all the steps because to they make prove it. That you want it. The, the, the forms are like it's long, but once long. You have, once you have a template, as you know, yeah, you can you get through. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So you can just help start support. So mm. literally. Um, big up rants, you know rants and bants. There's a like I've seen the page. Yeah, got so, a page, isn't it? So he, he's he, very intelligent. Yeah, ex, him, I don't him, know much yeah, about him and expressions, expressions. Yeah, but, like, he, he's come to my office a couple of times and I've helped him structure mm. his thing mm. yeah. to sort of get help him, get support, help him, get funding, mm. help your community. Yeah, fam. Some people are like, nah, I'm not telling no one how to do this. It's, it's, it's all me. But doggy like, dog. Yeah, yeah doggy no, dog. I can't lie. You see, and in, in in response to that, like you see me as a person, I am a. I'm a I'm a sponge learner. Mm. One yeah, person you I shout me as that yeah, kind of yeah, one, yeah, one person yeah, I yeah. shout out is Joe Grind. Yeah, mm. um, Giggs' his brother. I remember when we first started kind of like parlaying. Like, you from Peckham? Nah, bro, but that's my that's my people. <laughs> that's my people. <laughs> yeah, that's my people. I'll be down there with the time. Oh, why do you up like that? I know you are gone. I'm from Northwest. Very proud. I was in Northwest. NW tip. Yeah, but um, he could see that. Could see me in this industry, bro. Even though I'm in this industry, I'm not really in the industry. I'm not, I'm not industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah, so yeah. You my just whole, do your thing. Yeah, my whole journey has been very independent. I've never yeah. been part of a clique. I've never been doing silly things. Not, not, not to discredit anybody, but I've never been doing silly things on camera. My thing has been very authentic. I've been authentically myself. Mm. Yeah. And because of that, he could see that I don't know a lot. Mm. So like, I remember telling him one time, "Oh man, I gotta go and buy these clothes, man. I gotta go and do this whole new light show." And he was mm. like, "Buy clothes." He's like, "What are you buying clothes for?" I should be giving you. I'm one. like, "What do you mean?" He's like, "Bro, like, you have a name now." 
know you're doing things you don't have to and he just basically started showing me about how you can pattern sponsorships mm. Mm. And, and he just started opening my eyes to how the industry works obviously mm. he's seen it himself through gigs and through um and through everything that they've been doing over the years yeah, yeah. and so bro like he just started showing me a few things and i remember i'll come back to him telling him certain things i'm thinking he's like you're doing what and he's like blood how are you <laughs> oh yeah and i'm like bro you know what it is you me. <laughs> yeah. you show give me what, what they say um give give, give a man, man to fish teach a man to yeah. fish or give or, or, or give man to, you know yeah. what i mean like you teach me how to fish and i'm gonna go also, and fish bro. and also one of the one of my homies in and show others mm. yeah it's very important it's children, very like, important one of my brethren in new york were saying to me it's like each one teach one but not only each one teach one, one hand, one hand wash the other, yeah. and then both wash the face. Yeah. Yeah. Do you get yeah. it? Yeah. So yeah. it's like the m you can't wash on your own. Mm. We, have, and we have, have to build hands. together. You know yeah. what I mean? Like our, our side of this industry, our side of this country, where we come from, what we're building in our in our in our side of this mm. um, this city, this country is very sm much smaller. Yeah. Yeah. We're in our infancy. Yeah, so we have to build together, bro. Mm. We can't try and do this individual thing because it's not gonna work. Yeah, yeah, yeah facts, like, bro. So the more we build together, the greater we can build. Yeah, 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 and, yeah, yeah. and the greater we can leave behind for the next to build upon, bro. Mm. And that's something that I started to realize. It's, I started to realize that my life and my career, and as I'm sure you have as well, our lives and our career mm. are not about us. Yeah. It's about who come after yeah. us. Because Legacy. They, they don't need to be having the struggle to get through the door that we had. It should Mo be like if you're, for yeah, them. if you're a real man, right, you got this yeah. AI team. Yeah. They're gonna have an easy life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. AI team mad this week, even the last two weeks. You might oh. hear a Bobby Kasanga um, interview. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's talking, he's oh, talking yeah, a bit fruity. Yo, bro, they was dropping <laughs> tunes that don't exist mm. in that fam, yeah, man. Like, Listen, right? I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a like a science nerd and yeah, geek yeah, like that. Right? I love history and and science and the universe. I've been speaking about these sort of things for the last maybe 10 years or even yeah, hour. I told my missus that like, you need to watch films like Robocop. This is what I was telling Terminator. <laughs> I Robot. I Matrix, Robot. Matrix, I Robot. <laughs> Minority Report. Yeah. Minority Report. Yeah. Mad, bro. Mad movie. All you know. these they've things. Been they've been showing man. Tonight, they've you know, been that's showing a big us. Still. They've been showing they've been us. They've been showing us the crime before it happens yeah, and then arrest the person yeah. before they even fucking they've did been, it, blood. They've been yeah. Think about it, right? They've got people now who can, who ain't got limbs, right? Who can now control something happening with their the mind. Their mind. Yeah. Got, there's energy, um, electronics, whatever. Yeah. Got, like, everything, yeah, yeah. Oh, right? Shit, it, like, it's, <laughs> when they started doing that's, um, that's Snapchat filters. You're on about Xavier, right? no? You know, <laughs> yeah, Charles yeah, Xavier. Trust, <laughs> trust me, <laughs> when they started doing Snapchat filters and that, yeah. I said to myself straight away, yep, yeah, they're collecting our data. Yeah. And mm, they're doing it through mm, fun. Mm, mm, mm. They won't make it through like, fun. Like, oh, yeah, look, you can have a tongue and a dog. Like, yeah, look, you're not. <laughs> but all they're <laughs> doing it is collecting your, your, your facial yeah. recognition. Because yeah. you ain't been arrested. Nah. So why are we going to have to take your mugshot? Yeah. <laughs> so, shit, yeah. how can we get their mugshots with yeah. that? So, cool, let's just make this game for them. Yeah, they all is collecting yeah. your data. So yeah. now, when, remember, all computer systems are interlinked, right? Mm. So when you're going through the airport, soon enough they're gonna know, yeah, this is you. Oh yeah, this is you. <laughs> and I, oh, oh where's the link? Oh yeah, we and know that's him because if you look at Snapchat, it says yeah. there on that day that was his face, his matches. Yeah. Now, your phone, right? Why do I need to have my fingerprint on there? Yeah. I, I know my pin. Yeah. I can. It don't take. I can't phone. lie. I use the fingerprint as well. Like yeah. a idiot. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. yeah. Like a idiot. Like a idiot. I'm old school. Facial you know. recognition yeah. as well, right? Yeah. I don't need. I can just tap my pin. True. My pin is only I yeah. know it. Couple yeah. digits. E everything else is compromised. If I'm sleeping, someone can get my finger, pull it on my. What do you call it, right? <laughs> right. If you're sleeping, someone can take your picture on your. You got your, so your, much. Black. But they're making you think. Oh yeah, this is so much easier yeah. for you. But all they're doing is collecting yeah. your data. I got a question. When you I got a question for you. You see the face ID to get. Yeah. Say you're sleeping yeah, and your missus has got a picture of you. Yeah. Can your missus use a picture zoomed in like that? Yeah? Possibly. But I don't have an iPhone. I, I don't have face ID. I've heard that they've done something that they can't. But you never know. I blood, but even if you're, I think, I mean, your eyes are meant to be open, isn't it? Oh, it's oh. So, but but if it's yeah, a, you're right. You're right. He's right. He's right. He's right. Got a blink. No, but if it's but if it's That's a pic, open eye But if it's a picture, I don't know because you can get the picture zooming in and go. Yeah. <laughs> bro, <laughs> the photo. I don't know. It's over if that happens. <laughs> <It's everybody laughs> and you know the maddest know thing as well, as he's talking about it, you, you know, on the social media websites, when you look at the terms and conditions, they tell you straight that look. We we have the um the right to, uh, over your images. Oh, we have we have the right over the things that you place onto this app. Mm. Mm. They tell you, but none of us read the small yeah. print. We don't own that. How many times you? How much, see, so it says the accept ticket. conditions. Ticket. Have, when have you ever read the conditions? You can't go like, I've never read the conditions. Yeah. Read it later. Yeah, I read it later. No, no. It's, it, we, everything. Like, it's all there, man. That's why with AI, it's it's mad. But the thing is, there's nothing we can do about it. Mm. It's gonna happen. Oh yeah. Everyone's everyone gonna be losing it. That's why you need to be creative, man. And I tell people, and you guys might say, okay, how did Big Ego Media grow? Mm. It's literally pandemic hit, right? Yeah, yeah. Everyone's at home. Mm. 
You can't do shit. And what did they tell you? What did that teach you? That the only thing that will really last is content. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Because we can't go to clubs, we can't go to schools, we can't go to play football. Like we're at home. We're at home. We're bored. Made me come out so, of retirement to podcast. You know what I'm saying again. So everyone said, oh, "Cool, yeah. let me, let me, let me." Um, ju-. And I just started telling stories. Yeah, yeah, I started yeah, yeah. telling stories, and then from me telling stories, next thing I woke up, oh, eight thousand subscribers. Yeah, yeah. Next day, twelve thousand subscribers. I'm like, oh, people are liking these stories to the point that where. I, th- I was getting phone calls from pe- don't tell that story don't tell this story <laughs> don't tell that hey, there's a lot of pressure happening there's a lot of pressure my, bro- my, my brother kept on going to the point I can't stop calling my brother called me yo nah take that take that, photo, that video down <laughs> like, oh, man man's upset that yeah it was mad it was I remember mad. I rang Boost as well because yeah. I was doing the video of him yeah. at the time yeah. Yeah. just after the first lockdown and that and I was like, yeah, yeah, I see my man. And he's like, oh, yeah. He was like, oh, this again. You know what I'm trying to say? That yeah, again. But it's, you know <laughs> he called me. He called me. Yeah, baby, he called me. Baby, he called me. He called me. He called me. But Boos, Boos, Boos is documented things, man, like in his own music as well. So it's like, it ain't nothing that, <laughs> ain't going to be new information. You know what yeah. he's like, though, isn't it? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But it was funny how you lot met him as well. Oh, it was yeah. an epic story, though. It was funny. Was that there? When you told us about him coming to the yard and that. Yeah, but his name you know what? That. It's that like, shit was funny, bro. I was busted up. That's yeah, why I like, rang him. Yeah, it's like, for me, it's like, and I, I see Bruce all the time, and and for me, it's like, there's no animosity. There's yeah, no, yeah, yeah. but everyone's gone pot. It was, it was never that serious yeah, of, a, yeah, yeah, of, yeah, of an yeah, issue kind of thing. So it's like, I was just looking after, look, protecting my little brother kind Hell of thing. Oh yeah, bro, you have to. But there's a thing that where it's like- Oh, when they uh, came to the yard. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah but it's a thing that where it's like, I see where everyone's come from you, yeah. and where, do you know how much people from that era mm. who are not here no more? Yeah, it's sad, it's sad blood. It's sad, crazy. It's life, So man. to see people transition and then, he's doing his music and this person's doing that and everyone's doing this is that it's just it's, it's great to see kind of yeah. thing but it's like he's getting hard as well yeah he's yeah, cool. well, yeah, he's yeah, yeah. Hard. Definitely, definitely, he needs to drop an album I must sound like a fan when I see certain man certain time I'll nah nah but he's mean, proper stuff yeah, I, mean, yeah, I, yeah, I, I gotta let you know mm. if, I, if I think you're doing something good I gotta let you know I can't, yeah. I'm Rimsy like, that's oh, yeah, before I forget Rimsy yeah. Yeah, no. Nah. Because you know what? They done the four of us thing with Clavish I was banging it earlier so it's made me realise when he done the shout out on that tune, that tune went off. No, no, it went off. You see the youth, the mm. youth. When mm. I, even the youngers, yeah, I've seen some youngers this morning yeah. before I went gym. And I'm like, oh, what's the podcast saying? Hey, I'm going to do one today with mm. um, Bobby Kasanga. They're like, oh, yeah, yeah. Bobby Eagle, like Bobby yeah, Kasanga. Kasanga. That's what yeah. they said to me, yeah. the little Marley youths. No, li- literally. That's how they know you, li- Literally, like, big kids sort of know me through. Like, I've, I've had different phases, right? A lot of young footballer kids sort of know me through Arsenal Fan TV because me and Robbie oh. created a show, Blood Brothers. Okay. Yeah, so I created, big, a, yeah, I created yeah. a show Rob, called Blood Brothers. You're Arsenal fan then? Huh? You're Arsenal fan? No, not Arsenal fan. Oh. But remember, <laughs> I, I assess what's going on in life, right? <laughs> you're yeah. 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 No, because you know, <laughs> I, no, no. <laughs> Can I, yeah. Hey, listen, sorry to interrupt because I hate do being annoying mm. for the listener, yeah, but the reason he just made me laugh, right, is because I've been trying to be a journalist, yeah, so I've been hanging on to three things for the last 20 minutes and mm. I'm going to come back to them when the time's right. Yeah. Mm. The first one was the, what I just said about the, the Rimsy thing. Yeah. Mm. The second one was I heard you support Blackburn Rovers. Yeah. Yeah, and because he said Blackburn earlier. They, mm. they, is that they, true? They, yeah. they is that Premier true? They yeah, won the 94, Premier League. Yeah, 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 bro, yeah, they won the Premier League in 95. They won the Premier League. Alan Shearer, bro. Yeah. Bro, yeah. SAS. S-A-S. Oh, S-A-S. man. Alan Shearer, Shoot Oi. Ripley, Jason Wilcox, Yo. Colin Hentry, David Batty, Tim Flowers, Jeff Kenner. Flowers is cold as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why for Batty, though? Why for Batty? Why for still? Sorry, man. My bad. I had to cut. Because that was to me when I heard that year. Yeah. And then I heard him mention. Because earlier he quickly slipped in Blackburn mm, earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was oh, thinking, did he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. So you still support them tonight? <laughs> That's real though. We literally <laughs> missed out on playoffs on Monday Sick. by goal difference. No, no, we beat me wall. We beat, we beat me wall. Me wall just had to beat us for them to get uh, playoffs. Yeah. And we had to beat them and hope uh, Sunday and lost. Lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sunday and yeah, beat yeah, them. I've been down there. I ain't gone there yet. I ain't gone there yet. But yeah, so like the the Rimsy thing, like. I was like, everyone knew a new Rimsy mm. from before, just listened to his music and that. But I remember. Uh, he got bigger though, didn't he? Really? Yeah, he yeah. Around he got, time. Ran, so, what mm. happened was, I remember he done that challenge thing one time. I think he done a challenge where like he had lots of racks in the car and oh, then like a it? challenge thing. And then everyone started putting themselves in racks in on the, the car. Yeah. And then I made it, I done a joke. No, that was Fredo, no? No, I think Fredo done it. No, so Rimsy done, done it and I think Fredo done it. Oh, yeah, no, then 50K, yeah. Oh, okay, no, right. Right. So I made a joke of it. So yeah. I put, yeah, so I done the same thing. And then when the camera goes to where my money is, they had like 8p or something. <laughs> <laughs> 
yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> just in case HMRC. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then, and then, made you think we posted it. Yeah, yeah, the Rimsy yeah. commented, said, "Yo, lend me a fiver." As a joke, as a joke kind of thing. So yeah. I think that was the first kind of interaction. <laughs> That's and funny, um, yeah, I just, I just kind of. That's where the kids kind of start knowing me first through the mm. AFTV thing. Because, like I said, I, I kind of bro. assess what's going on. I saw SE Dons. Mm. Like doing their things, I see Bay T's, right? I see hashtag, yeah, and I, I know all these different people. I said, guys, yeah, 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 yeah. football's big business, right? Mm. And we had new football club. I didn't really touch the social media stuff, really. I was just doing. You just doing it in real life, in real life kind of thing, right? Mm. And I tell myself, like, you guys got a crazy following, right? Mm. You guys can literally create your own league, yeah. right? Yeah. Of stuff, oh, that's right? mad, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, I put yeah, them all in the group chat, and I said, well, let's do. Other people like, you know what, we're gonna do our own kind of thing. But then AFTV said, you know what, we wanna do it with you. Mm. So we literally created the Blood Brothers series. Pick and that's where a lot of people start seeing me, oh, are you, are you Bobby from Hackney Wickham uh, Blood Brothers? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's how it came back first. And then, of course, I started doing the big ego media stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The story, oh, yeah. That's where I got into Yeah, they're like, so oh, we love your stories. Like, oh, yeah, where's yeah, them yeah. stories like that? And then, obviously, I think Rim just said in the, in the, in the interview one time that like he's kind of, when he's writing his lyrics, kind of see like what's popping, what's, what, what's everyone talking about? What, and he's like, yeah, this is what everyone's kind of <laughs> That listening was hard, isn't it? Yeah, just that. So he sent it to me, he sent it to me, like he posted it, but like just like a temporary post quickly, right? Yeah, yeah. And he sent it to me, right? Mm -hmm. And I heard it, I was like, right, hey, this is hard. Yeah, yeah, they know yeah. me, I went hard for it. I'm like, yes, yeah, so I posted it. I'm like, yo, this tune's hard. So like for, a couple of months, yeah, I was kind of yeah, teasing yeah, yeah, yeah. it. I was teasing it for a couple of months. You know, to how, to, you know how to use the internet? Yeah, yeah. I was teasing it, teasing it, teasing it. I'm bringing you for advice, you know? Yeah. No, 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 that ain't no, it. Like, no, no, I'm still waiting for the, um, for the, um, for the tune there with um, Young Star and Spray in there. That's out, bro. It's out, it's been out. You're behind it. It's been out. He's behind it. He's trying, yo. It's been out, man. It's been man. Who's your favorite? The proper version? Yeah, Peck and Flow. Yeah, this version's The remix, yeah? Yeah, The podgy one's not out, is it? Put out. It's, it's my fault. It's my fault for the Podgy, Podgy one. That's my guy, blood. It's yeah. my fault for the Podgy one, right? Because <laughs> Podgy done it, done it. No, he done it. He sent it over. So oh, what man. I've asked oh him to God, do, I asked him to send me the what you call it. I needed the stems. Oh right? yeah, to mix it. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then what? I, what I done though? I messed up because I was gonna do three versions. I thought right? you was gonna do yeah. Different. yeah, yeah, well, yeah basically yeah. four versions, right? There's gonna be. The, my mm. original one, mm. there's gonna be one with just everyone from Peckham, yeah, yeah. right? And then there's the one, th then there's an all star one and from then another all star, -star London, and then the all star. And then I made a mistake by accident, so I put OG Nikki in the yeah, she's from all Birmingham. star London one, and I put Prodigy in the that's other what I one. Nene was telling me, yeah. she's showing me still. Yeah, yeah. And, then, yeah. and someone's, and I'm like, oh shit, and I think. <laughs> when I hit Podgy, I'm like, yo, he's like, yeah, no, nah, I see then a bit of a remix, so I'll probably just, I'll leave it out for now. Yeah, because he's, he's old think, school as well. Yeah, so, yeah, I, yeah. so I think, I don't know if, if he felt a way or nah, anything like that. Nah, I don't I think he would. I was like, yeah, see, Podge, Podge is solid. Yeah, yeah, he's solid, solid yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, yeah, sorry about that, man. But by that time, yeah, pull it you out went, there. He went up kind of hard as well, you know. Yeah, 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 I was like, yo. And I reached out to him specifically because I said, I wanted the people who were there, that who kind of, like, yo, but obviously, there's a, a f kind of few politics around that track as well because some people can't go on the track or some people like right. th th that's the music industry for you. Who's your favorite well. verse on it? From the because you, your tune in it, you can you got the right to just say you know what you know what this one's better. You, you know what it's between four. Mm. Four. <laughs> it's between four. I can't decide. I can't decide. That's a lot. Of, right? That's a lot of verses. That is uh, spray. <laughs> okay. Meth. Meth and hard. Uh, wire or size. I need to listen to this. Mm. I can't lie. Yeah. Okay. That's, the, that's the. And I like YR's one. I think YR one. I feel like Ice Cream's intro was crazy yeah, as well. Ice, ice like just the intro. Well. It's like, crazy. Yeah, yeah. 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 But yeah, I think I'm going to go. Sister, I think I'm going to go with YR <laughs> just because. There's a lot of Peckham references that yeah, just yeah, made, yeah, just took yeah, me yeah, back yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, it's Peckham so, flow, yeah, isn't it? It's not Peckham flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spray had it, Spray's tone was good. Nah, spray, His spray, tone was spray good. Spray is like, good. Every, 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 the spray, spray if, if you put it out for a vote, a lot of people say Spray's the hardest. I think Jar was the hardest. Jaja, my I personal like, opinion. I like Jar Jar's one as well. Yeah, yeah, fam. And do you know what's mad? Sorry, sorry to interrupt you. Do you know what's mad? Yeah, mad, yeah. Big up Jar Jar. That's my people as well. But you know what's interesting is that, because everyone is doing different things now and everyone's growing here, yeah? 
<laughs> it's mad for me because I remember when Spray had the roads in a chokehold. Oh, most are, like, most are, I'm yeah, talking about, most I'm talking about really the most, all of them. I'm talking about hard, hard to kill. I'm talking, but we had the game in a chokehold. But it's like it's funny because no now, star, now he's doing his wait. podcast and now he's grown up as a man. It's like some people really don't know just how cold this brother is no, and was is, as an artist. Is, that's why. That's why. Like obviously, there's always kind of like politics around certain things. But yeah. that's why I said no. Nah, like if I'm going for the old school. I have to get spray on oh, yeah, yeah, it. Oh, I'm man. And the thing is, like, for, for me, is that because I was with spray in Pentonville. Right? Okay, okay. So I know how funny the guy is mm. in real life. Mm. Where people won't I know him in real life, yeah? <laughs> he is fucking funny. Yeah, I know spray, right? Yeah. So that's why I see, I think I see a post the other day. I think, uh, was it Taze, Taze from. Uh, Two shots, three shots of okay, yeah, yeah. He said, "Yeah, Sprays is is, is best." Oh, podcast the other right brother now. in it. Um, the what's the brother? The the chunkier one. He said it. Yeah, Marvin, Marvin, Marvin. Yeah, Marvin, yeah. Nah, one, one nah, nah, the other one is Keith. one Keith. Keith. Okay. Keith. Yeah, Keith. yeah. So one he of them like, he He's not a comedian, but yeah. he's, he's like a comedian. Yeah, basically. like yeah. literally. Yeah. So, it, he, so I'm I'm glad that he's actually getting. <laughs> I'm um, mad. <laughs> yeah, I'm 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 happy he's actually getting his flowers in a different way. Cause like where. He's sort of written off and say, you know what, they just, yeah, they yeah, just yeah, do facts, things. Facts. So like he's, and like I it's said, with everyone, you have to be consistent mm. because he could have just said, yeah, fuck this. But he's been, and now Look he's one up. of the yeah. best podcasts in the UK. Yeah, yeah so he sings Guan and stuff. He's yeah. funny, he's a funny brother. Yeah. Yeah. He's just yeah. batting yeah. people up. Yeah. Yeah. You know what cracked me up the other day about him, blood? You know, I was busting up, blood, the other day when I was watching it, fam. My man's chilling with Kemzy because Kemzy's yeah. quite mm. like stocky, innit? Yeah. And my man's just getting hot, spraying that through the interview you gave me. And he backs off his tracksuit top and he's got a, like a stab proof vest on mm. underneath to make himself look hencher. Mm. <laughs> and he's actually gone and said it like, oh yeah, I don't watch the vest. I just wore it to look bigger. Because <laughs> my man's wife. <laughs> like, even, <laughs> like, even, even, like, even in his new thing, <laughs> even his new thing, allegedly. Have you seen his new thing, allegedly, when he's in the car doing stories? Bro, and I... He, Blad, he started it off and he was like, he was, he's talking, yes, let me tell you a story now. And he's like, tricep. <laughs> <laughs> Out of nowhere. Out. Tricep, just nice. Just you, know, you know what's mad though? Do you know what's mad, yeah? I've been trying, uh, honestly, like, yeah. so funny, No, this is real shit, yeah. This is real shit, mm. bro. You can answer this however you best f wish to answer this, bro. Because yeah. I respect that you're a man and an individual. Mm. You get me? Obviously, I've got people on road that like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, Bobby's coming on. They're like, what? Yeah, he, that's good, bro. That's mm. a big one. Ask him this. Mm. And I'm like, I can't ask him that. No, ask away, man. No, but that's what... But then Spray's gone online and done... He's just said it, the car story. Mm. And Spray said what my friend said. What was it? So Spray's gone like um, how he was in jail and there's a shoot called Zorro. And you've big said the brother's name already. Today. No, that's a different Zorro. So there's two. Now, this is Zorro. I'll talk about Zorro from Peckham. See? Okay, so this is a different one. Mm. Right. But, but that Zorro... Yeah. It's so funny, right? Remember yeah. I said I'm a family <laughs> tell, right? Yeah. That Zorro, right? I see him, mm. right, in Belmarsh, right. right? I'm hearing his name. I'm hearing his name, right? I seen him now, and I said, "You look familiar." Mm. He's like, "Yeah." This time I got like I got a brother, right? Same age as me in Canada Town, right? Mm -hmm. But it, it, my brother's a sweet boy. Like he's not on road. Yeah, he's a, he's a, he's yeah, a, yeah. He actually used to be a model and an actor, oh, right? Ross. And he still does that, right? That was his best friend in year nine. Okay. Wow. In year nine, I remember we went out to for my brother's birthday in year nine with Zora from um, East, right? Yeah. And then he was quite small. And then I don't know what growth spurt he had or what <laughs> happened. <laughs> and that's thing I'm saying that everyone told me, raw he's he's super gang in East. Mm. I'm like. That's what I say. You can never like judge someone up. from because yeah, 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 yeah. his best friend at the time was my brother, who's just on sweetness. So when <laughs> when I'm hearing, yeah, my man's moving mad in East. I'm like, Rah. then when I talk to him, like I said, oh, I remember who you are now. I said, you sang on my brother Gatton. He's like, yeah, oh, I was here, I'm like, yeah, I remember we went out for my brother's birthday in Stratford. We went to pizza. He's like, oh, so he knew that's my people's man. That's where you remember. The remember so from. that's yeah. where like. <laughs> like I, I've met and linked people with everyone, but yeah, the two zeros are different. Right, that makes sense. Cause I was, I was, you know what I got? Cause you know me, I'm still quite connected to that kind of thing. So mm. I'm like, I hit the bird call couple yeah. man. I'll tell you something off camera mm. after as well. Yeah. You know, like, right, you yeah. But basically, my guy's gone. You gotta ask him this blood car, and I was like, nah, I can't ask him that. Mm. And then Spray's gone, like four That's days later, mm. and said the same shit, blood. Mm. So Spray's, I don't know if you've seen Spray's video in I the car. I seen it, yeah, I seen it, yeah. So he's he's saying you, he said, he said me. <laughs> <laughs> have he saying, yeah. yeah, he's gone boom, yeah, obviously. He's telling this war story of jail, mm. right? And then he's gone, look, Bobby, you can tell you, yeah, 
he's like, there's this youth called Zorro. I'm hearing people telling me all the time that like he moved to me. Yeah. Mm. That's what you're saying. Mm. He's like, but I don't know him like that. He ain't moved to man, bruv. Mm. Bobby will tell you kind of thing. Mm. Da, 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 da. And then he's obviously gone and said something mad. Like, oh yeah, I heard he moved to a rare, 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 mm. which is who the, my bridging saying, ask him that. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Another rapper. Okay. And then and then he, and I was just going, fuck, man. I was afraid to say this. And my friend just asked me the same thing. So he was just like basically saying that like, raw, I didn't get moved to by him, but I'm hearing that I did on road, basically. Alright, cool. <laughs> Stacky. From, from my understanding, right? I've heard Zoro's moved to a lot of people, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. From my, my understanding. I don't know exactly who, because yeah, when yeah, I yeah. met him in Belmarsh. I didn't know who he kind of was, kind of mm. thing. But I'm like, your face looks familiar. Then you remind me, yeah, oh yeah, no, yeah. You know your my name. Key. Then I'm like, yeah. So I've always kept it at that, right? Now in jail, right? I was in jail with uh, what you call it, them man in I was in Pentonville, mm. right? I remember they were trying to. I don't. I don't remember if Zoro. I don't remember seeing Zoro there. But I remember sprays come on a wing, right? And you know it's spray. So people <laughs> yeah. are trying to. Come and do what you call it. He's behind it, but sprays that giving it back to them. Like, yo, yeah, shut yeah, up, yeah. shut up. But they're yeah. trying to get through the door. Yeah. But that's the only that's thing. Yeah, that's that's that was the only thing that I kind of remember. That's what he said. Right? Yeah, 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 that's yeah, what yeah, yeah. I kind of remember at the time. I don't remember. And then someone got moved anyway, and that. Yeah, so time. so that's what I kind of remember from that. But I don't remember mm. anyone that actually moved to him at in front yeah, of me yeah, or yeah, so kind of thing. So yeah, so yeah. Yeah, that's mad stuff. I thought I'd ask because I wasn't gonna ask. Yeah, because you see me, I'm mm. respectful, blood. Yeah, no, but, but for me, for funny. me, as long as there's no politics, as long as there's no kind of like, because for me, it's like, it's 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 funny, right? Because like I said, I grew up in Peckham, mm. right? So I know everyone sort of my my age, mm. a little bit older, a little bit younger, a little bit younger. Right? Yeah. But at the same time, I've been to about nine different jails. Mm -mm. So I met people. He done the talk. Uh, yeah, done the talk. Yeah. I always used to get caught with phones in that, innit? But I used to go to. <laughs> so I'm affiliated to a lot of people from different areas, mm. right? And then where I grew up in a little bit in Cannon Town, yeah, 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 and then I do the thing in Hackney with football club and so on. I've been able to kind of mix and match and and like I always tell people, every man's drama. It's your drama. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, 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 yeah. Facts. I'm here trying to support young people and do what I'm doing, kind of thing, 100%. right? I don't want no want to use me for one anything of agenda mm -hmm. and one kind so it's like it's always been like cool i'm cool with this man this man not like that man but i'm cool with my man yeah. and for me personally that's you guys is drama this has got nothing to do with me because yeah. mm. i don't choose any side because yeah, no one's same. done anything to me same. yeah per person, per person. no one's done yeah. anything to my yeah. family in person kind of thing for me to say you know what i'm gonna get involved with any drama at the end of the day i'm 37 next week yeah. <laughs> i'm like Big man thing. I got, I got kids. Big man thing, bro. Big I, mean, man I got kids, yeah. and then like, like, I'm trying to twenty five. Big, yeah, yeah, yeah. big man thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big man thing. Yeah, I'm, trying to <laughs> I'm trying to progress in life, so I don't, I don't, I don't know the politics or who's yeah, done what to yeah, what. Yeah. But all I say that like, the main thing is that everyone's alive. Yeah, bro. Do you know, everyone's do, breathing. Do you know what circum? Sorry to cut you, but mm. there was a circumstance when I saw that you had a good heart as well. Yeah. There was because I, I know tricky well. Yeah. And I know spray. Yeah. And I remember at a time there where they were sending for each other on pods, and you got an interview with tricky at a peak time when it was kind of mid when it was Guan in. Mm. And you said something, I remember I was in the gym watching it actually, because I was thinking, I'm gonna ring Tricky later, or whatever, and I'm gonna bump into Spray anyway, because I always do. Because mm. um, we go to a similar place where we see mm. each other. So it's like, you said, bro, have you not thought about just chatting, bro? Like you two have get along, you're both funny, you're mm. both, and, you, and, and when you said that, yeah? That's a good point actually. Yeah, when you said that, I realized that you was a good guy. That was the time when you I realized know what? that the you funny were actually enough, being funny enough, This is the second time I done that, and the first time it, it backfired on me. I bet, bruv, because it's peak. Because I made a comment, right? And I think, I can't remember, made you think posted something, right? And- It's always made you think. Yeah, that like he posted something, <laughs> and I must have said something about, oh yeah, like peace. You know what I'm saying, the peace thing, right? <laughs> Then all the Hatley lot got onto me, like Tricky got onto yeah, me, like, Bobby, yeah, yeah. don't get involved, it's nothing to do with you. Then Lou must have said something as well. I'm like, whoa, 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 guys. Like, it's it's, it's not a thing. I'm just trying to- I'm Trying to be a good guy, bro. I yeah, said, you know yeah, what? Yeah. Let, let, me, let, me, let me delete my yeah, comment. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I think I said something about, something that peace, peace. There's a Bible scripture, I think it's something about, mm. um, Blessed are the peacemakers or something like that. I don't yeah, know. I said something about that. I agree. I said something about, yeah, mate. Oh. Takes a big man to do that. I can't remember what the post was, but mm. anyway. But like I said, right? Tricky, fucking hilarious. Yeah, he's a funny guy, bro. Oh my God. And hilarious. Spray, hilarious. And yeah. it's funny enough, I posted this, right? I actually posted this as a, I think I posted mm. that segment on my page as well, um, what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I remember it. That, I said, these guys, right? 
Dating you if you so both. funny, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. In a different world, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There could have been cool friends, whatever. But, the way, innit? But, but obviously, like again, I don't want to get involved in any yeah, politics yeah, yeah, and so yeah. on, right? And I think Spray even commented, joking that Spray does that, yeah, but what we don't like, I'm, I'm funnier, I'm funnier, kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, kind of thing. But it's like, they're both funny guys, and what I'll say is that, what, what, what I'll say is that. They're all. They're both doing podcasts. Yeah. They're both doing well. They're both in their it's own trajectory. Alone, and everyone's just, yeah. I don't. I don't think. I mean, I, they're, they're per- personally, I'm, no. But I'm gonna say it straight, bro. Yeah. I personally, yeah. Big man thing, bro. I think they should leave that alone, bro. Mm. Both go on and do what you're doing. Both podcasts. You've got. There's enough room in the game for everyone, and it's the past, bro. Yeah. I know. Obviously, there's a lot of a lot of um layers to the past. Yeah. I get it. I get it, bro. I get it. But at the same time, fam. I'm a big believer in moving forward, mm. yeah. and I say, and that. I think that, and I think they're all moving forward. But I think there's always kind of yeah, because this seems like little sly comments. There was a time that, when yeah. it seemed like it was kind of getting not maybe not squashed, but it seemed like it was becoming a non-factor. And then I think mm. one person says something, and then it kind of kind of yeah. ignites it again. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, that's, a, that's a shame. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like they're, they're probably never gonna see eye to eye in life, yeah. right? Yeah. But for me, as long as yeah, for me, for me, as long as they they both in the old trajectory, they're yeah. both doing well. They're both. Yeah, but um, I just want everyone to win. Just yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. About the draw argument. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, it's a different. Yeah, yeah. Conversation, yeah. Conversation, yeah. But I would say that's what everyone to win. Yeah, yeah. That's black, all man. I really want. Everyone to win, and as you say, to live. That's yeah. all I want. I don't really care about the drama. Because the thing, the thing is, bro. Every hood in London's got problems with another yeah, hood fan, yeah, yeah. whether you, you know about them or not. Even if they're the smallest hood that's coming up in yeah. two years, they might have the biggest rapper and we know about them. That's yeah. our goal, like, we've yeah, seen yeah. that, innit? Like at one point, if you weren't from like Stonebridge, Hackney or, or Peckham South. or mm. Brixton, Brickle, you weren't yeah. even rated, bro. Yeah. But now yeah. you've got youths out there, heavy dons from like fucking, like pot of papers ends and mm. fucking, you've got mans from, um, Different parts of South and that. You yeah, get me no, that you never knew it. There's everywhere, man. Funny enough, I was in yeah, Peckham the other day. I made a joke about it the other day as well. And like, I was in Peckham. Everyone has their turn, bro. And I was walking. I had to go and stop by the shop. One youth's walking. Like he must be like maybe seventeen. Mm. Like he's got low bats. Like I'm like, you can't <laughs> be get more low bats than this. And he's just walking <laughs> like, tr- yeah, 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 walking yeah, like yeah, this. Yeah, like yeah, he's yeah, giving yeah, it all that. Root biting. And uh, yeah. I'm Root-biting. looking at him. And he comes up close to me, but he's doing something else, and he kind of looks at me. <laughs> I don't know if he recognises me or not. I kind of look at him. Mm. And I said to myself, "It's long day. These kids are different now." Yeah, I just, I bro, it's a whole new thing, bro. I said, yeah. "I said I'm, I'm not going to give you a reason to say who you're looking at." Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as soon as I allow. say that, then my ego gets what you call it, and then yeah. someone films. Oh, look at Bobby Kasanga, um, community S- activist S- fighting a drawer, kid. Drawer. So drawer. I said, "You Some know what? Williams let me, let me, let me look because these kids they will just pull out a Rambo." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't, I got kids to go back to. And that's small, bro. Bro, I've had ZKs pulled out, man. Yeah. But you think what? I'm a big man, bro. Mm. You, you just said your age. Yeah. Same on the ting, blood. Mm. Bro, you see when you get a ZK put to your chest? Bro, I'm just cool. Uh, cool, blood. Yeah, you get me, bro? I've, I've, I've had my day outside. Yeah, you yeah, get yeah, me? Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm. I'm like, fam. I had a similar. I, yeah. I, I, I learned my lesson the hard way. <laughs> bro, bro, I'll keep it real, bro. I'm a man that. Well, not, not, not so much anymore, but before, maybe like a year, two years ago, I used They're to go different, blood. That's what I'm saying. I go to the cinema a lot. I like going to the cinema. I like, I like, Scary films. Mm. Like, and no, no Brother, it was really scary. Yeah. <laughs> it's like my arm. No, 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 I like scary films. Mm. Yes, yeah, like I go by myself. Tick. But when I go, I'm hooded up. I got all my st- and, and this particular day, I had a whole heap of snacks that I had bought. I was in a real good mood. I'll get ready to see something. Like, really? Yeah, yeah. You get me? And so I'm, you did that. I can't do that. But yeah, yeah, I hate that. I'm hooded up. I'm going by myself. <laughs> you get me? And as I'm walking now, I see a, I see a young youth. He's just staring at me. But I'm thinking to myself, oh, allow it. I'm not gonna allow you to stare me down and I look away in it. So I just have to. I'm like, all right, cool. So I have to be that. So I'm just like, <laughs> I'm getting into my type of zone mm. now. You get me? And I'm, I'm just looking at everything else. I get close to him and I think to myself, yeah, boom. Any moment I'm gonna drop these nachos. And way, man, it's, it's gonna have to be. It's gonna have to be on. Then as I'm as I'm getting close <laughs> to him, he's like. Yeah, man, I love your thing, you know. Mm. <laughs> it's like, you probably get that it's bang, like, bro. It's like, yeah, I, I, it's like I forgot <laughs> that I'm on TV now. Yeah, mm. TV. I'm like, I'm not like, yeah. TV, TV now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah. like, oh, yeah. He's like, I love what you're doing, man. Keep doing what you're doing. That's you funny, know? you know. And I'm like... I, I felt like an idiot. I'm like, Roach, what are you doing? Yeah, man? you like, nearly got drawn out. How am I, how am I moving like I'm 17 again? <laughs> mm. Screwing man down, ready to go and fight man in a yeah, cinema. Long, yeah. bro. And it made me it made me rethink and That's what I said to myself. Like, it's, it's our egos again, isn't it? It's like the kid's looking at me. I looked at him for a bit. And I thought, any second now, he'd be like, what are you looking at? So I mm-hmm. thought, you know what? Just, like, I, I just had a slide. I just had like, oh, my phone. Like, yeah. I thought to myself like. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. Big man singing, bro. It can just get, it's, no it's, it's our pride the outcome, and egos. The outcome yeah. doesn't
Well, you see, when you mentioned you mentioned Loons as well, mm. <laughs> Loons has been doing the right. He done a winner's talk in the other yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. Epic. Mm. I loved it, bro. It's one of my favorite yeah. Loons interviews. And he done no. Do you know what's mad? Jory, I don't know when Loons went on your thing, mm. yeah, but I remember that was the f- one of the first times that I watched like a full episode yeah. of one of your things. Where he was talking about hiding in the church. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember where he said he got Loon, caught in that? Loon is hilarious. He's mental, bro. I, I told Loon this all the time, yeah. He's been dissing Peck and Flo yeah, a little bit. Yeah. No, no, we'll get to that. <laughs> we'll get to that. I told, I told, I told Loon this, right? I told Loon he's a superstar when he wants to be a superstar. Yeah, 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 yeah. As soon as he says, you know what, I really want to be a superstar, he'll go all the way. Because like, mm. I've been interviewed so many different people, right? His interview got 100K quicker than most. Mad, isn't it? I think, I think, I think, apart, I think only, only um, Danny Simpson. That was a good one. Yeah, only yeah, Danny yeah, Simpson got hundred k yeah. so quick. I think Loon is maybe second to get hundred k so quick. I remember Loon's that's not big, someone that's bro. been quite yeah. out there, out there for ages, right? He just jumped in the lockdown as well, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, Facts. Like, and he's he selective, got, it seems as well. Yeah, so yeah, he, yeah, he, he, he got hundred k, so, and I told him like Loon, like. You are actually a superstar because some people have never got 100k on my watch. Mark's done well, yeah, finding yeah, him, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, Mark's done really well. And I think that he he needs to just go out there and create more content, more content, keep so. creating more content. And he's he's going to go out there. He nah, nah, nah he, he, he was the. He hosted the uh, tapes. He hosted, hosted the tapes and that, so yeah. He hosted so, yeah, the tapes. But don't let Loon's lie to you, man. Loon's, I see Loon's playing, um, <laughs> uh, what you call it? Peck and Peck Floor. I see you playing Peck and Floor. He loves it. He loves it. He loves it. He loves it. Do you know what's funny, though? I heard what you were saying. Yeah. Because there was a point, bro, where I don't even follow, I didn't follow you yet. Yeah. And I just heard Peck and Floor every time I open Instagram. Marketing, man. Good. No, but I respected him because he he's one of them guys, yeah. Where you can tell he's old school, he's irritated. Yeah. Mm. Me, I'm not irritated, I'm yeah. respecting it. Yeah. I'm just scroll past. <laughs> but I'm like, yeah, I heard it again. I know that tune. <laughs> yeah. That tune coming up every day, black. Like, you know what, you know, you know, yeah, like, you know like, Louis, he, he, he messaged me beforehand, <laughs> like when, when he was going on, when he was talking, yeah. he said, bro, it's coming out, just know, I took some dig at you, but you know what it is anyway. You know what it is. Because yeah. what, <laughs> what, what happened was, what happened was, right? <laughs> Like you, you see, he felt like I, I, I kind of put them under the bus yeah. in the whole, what do you call it? But I'm thinking that I don't put you man under the bus. This is what you guys, man, you, uh, the no clock thing. Oh, okay. oh. So so basically, <laughs> I, 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 I do this show, right? Mm. The end of year wrap up basically, mm. where I get diff- different influencers yeah, yeah, yeah. to go through everything that happened that year. Okay. So different, so like, the no clock one come out the year before, right? And when I said, "Oh, what's everyone's views on the no clock thing, right?" <laughs> and then man kind of went a little bit <laughs> on him kind of thing, right? Yeah. So obviously, the, the, the interviews come out now with Pound Sterling, yeah. So I've reposted what the man said. So I'm mm. saying, okay, now that the interviews come out with Pound Sterling, we heard no clock speak. Yeah. yeah. What do you guys what you think on now? his view? Yeah, we say now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm just saying that's that's a journalist, right? Yeah, You're posting what people have said before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. You throwing us under the bus, kind of thing. <laughs> but these people say that I don't really care, man. Kind like, of if you said yeah. it, you said it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. People can find it, bro. Mm, mm, not true. everyone. Not everyone. Um, what's what's the word? Not everyone like reacts. Yeah. But everyone sees. Mm, Do you get mm. it? Like there's bare interviews that yeah. I've watched. I've never liked it. Never commented. Mm. And I've never followed the person. Yeah. But I've watched their shit. Yeah. Do you know what I'm yeah. trying to say? That, that's what, that's what I always tell people. Like. Everyone knows. Everyone's watching. Yeah, some, some people will never give you your flowers. Some people never clap mm-hmm. for you. Some people like they'll be looking at it, enjoying. That's why I, I don't even think if you saw the skit, the skit that I done about Peck and Flo. Nah, I, I done a skit where someone. Um, I like Peck and Flo. S- s- yeah, I, I, I love it. I think it's a good tune. Yeah, it's a good tune. So the skit's basically. Um, someone walks in. Oh, yo! I've heard Bobby's Peck and Flow song, and the guy's like, "Oh, that song is shit, man!" Oh, nah, I'm tired of that song. That song is shit, man. And the guy walks out. And when he walks out, he puts his ears there, and the guy <laughs> listens listen to Peckham Floor. <laughs> so I was like, even if you don't like it, you've heard, heard it. It's really, it's really. part of market, you don't have to like something, mm. but <laughs> as long as you, you, you went and streamed it <laughs> and looked at it, then that's all I care that's about. That's what we care about, <laughs> blood. <laughs> that's what I rave about you. Yeah, you, know, you know what it is? Yeah. It's very like impartial, yeah, yeah, and blood. that's what you got to be as a journalist. Mm. Because but you know, it reminds me of, go on, finish though, finish. What well, I was gonna say it was quick anyway. Like you know how I mentioned you got your personal page, but really yeah. it's a blog. Yeah. You're in a blog space, so you're a journalist now. Mm. So really and truly, bro, anything you post, it's impartial, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're not taking sides. I can't you're not, take um, sides. Yeah, you're not saying, rah, I would have done this, boo done, and they, mm. they said this. It's you're just posting. Yeah. Like if, you know, like if someone's actually said something out of their own mouth, bro, mm. how can they holler at you and say you throw me under the bus, bro? Yeah. Like I said this shit. Yeah. No, 100%, Simple. Hundred percent. No, I was just saying because um, when you when you were speaking, it remind because you know a lot of people listen to to their ops 
and yeah, probably enjoy yeah, their music. music. Yeah. And I remember Giggs had a, a, a line back in the day where he was like, "Oh, since I started rapping, Bricky Brothers don't really mind Peckham or something like that." You know what I mean? <laughs> and I remember thinking about, it, I think it's probably the truth, bro. Let's be honest. Yeah, listening to him. everyone's listening to it. It's, if if something is good, it's good. I posted that yesterday, but I, t- I, t- I took it down. Yeah. I posted um, there's an interview I done um with uh Nobi from um Hackney and it wasn't even about him. Oh yeah, no Nobi, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, L- L- LF. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And no, no. I remember asking him because this interview's never come out, but right, okay. I remember, yeah, I remember yeah. asking him like, "Raw, do you ever listen to your ops's tunes just like, "Raw, my man's quite hard." It's a good right? question though. Yeah, yeah, it's a good question. Right? Yeah, it's a good question. I didn't put his on, but I we posted that yesterday, right? Mm. But and it wasn't even him, mm. but someone else that I interviewed, mm. right? Um off camera, he said, "You know what? I can't lie." I used to listen to my ops's music. And I think yeah. this, he's my favorite rapper. My uh, op, he's, he's, he's talking about his op. Man. But the way I've put that out, people probably thinking, "Oh, I was talking about that." Norby had said that. Oh, so I thought, oh yeah, someone hit me. I said, "Yeah, it might get maybe confusing. take that down because people it might be confusing." People yeah, might think yeah, that yeah, Norby yeah. said he had a favorite rapper. Yeah, it wasn't him, course, but, I, yeah. but I just put that question out based yeah. on what I asked yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, someone I interviewed like Good he question, turned around though. and said that, "Raw, yeah." Yeah, my man was my favourite rapper. I ain't lying to you. I can imagine. But if I saw him, I'll get him down. Yeah. <laughs> my favourite rapper. You know, it's it mad. It no, but it's real though, because yeah. music is um, influential, is. bro. Like they say that um, the an- is an angel, that a fallen angel music, isn't it? No, uh, apparently Satan. Satan used to play the mm. instrument. Instrument. But, yeah, yeah, but he's a fallen angel. Yeah, yeah. So it was an angel at first. Yeah, an angel yeah. of music, you hear mm. me? So Bad. music's influential. Bad. And you know what it is? Quality is quality. Quality yeah. content is quality content. Yeah. They're going to watch it. Even now, but bro, you know what? It's not even, you know what? That's going bare deep. You know how simple it could be? His flow is crazy. You see, if a man's got a flow that's mad on the mic when yeah, they're rapping, blood. Yeah. There's definitely ops that I know yeah, that bro. I think, yo, he's hard and I don't even, I can't listen to him because mm. he's hard. There's I'll been people that I've met. Him to my playlist. Yeah. There, there's you been people that, that, I've, that I've met or maybe interviewed or been around <laughs> that I really didn't like. Mm. As a person, I thought, oh, I thought they were a prick, mm. but I can't <laughs> deny their talent, bro. Yeah. Yeah, that's I might still, I might still go watch the movie. Like for instance, like, oh, Big Mo from EastEnders. Who's yeah. That? Big Mo, old character, Big mm. Mo. She was mad rude to man on a red carpet, blood. <laughs> but I would still watch the EastEnders at the time. <laughs> you see me? Tom Hardy. <laughs> Tom Wait, Hardy rude. was mad rude to man. No yeah, way, but I still fam. watch a, um, Tom Hardy the cunt. Uh, uh, what's the what's the uh, Venom? I still yeah, watch a Venom or whatever. Him. You know what I mean? So it's like Bane. it is what it is. Like, like you, you don't have to like someone shit. to respect their talent. Mm. But there's also that because um, <laughs> I get it sometimes when people come up to me, I always be give everyone a time of day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like I always tell people if you see me with my missus or my yeah, my yeah, yeah, bro. It irks my missus. We'll be okay. on a date night. Like, and I get people say, oh, yo, but I just want to eat your steak, bro. I just want to. And I'm like, saying, you're cool. But, but then sometimes when they, when they stay for a little bit longer, yeah. then my missus will be like, oh, this, this, is, her mean, yeah. this is her time. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I mean. her time. She just wants her steak and chips, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's her yeah. time as well, yeah. isn't it? Because like, you're busy. Man. I wouldn't even approach a man like that with his missus, bro. I'd rather like wait till next time. Yeah. But if I might just salute you. From afar, yeah. Do your thing, bro. You know what I mean? But sometimes I'm so old school, bro. I wouldn't even do that. Because, like, raw, if I do this from a distance and you're missing, might feel uncomfortable. Mm. Just leave it, bro. Like next time, yeah. I see you about, bro. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. I might even DM you, bro. Yo, fam, I saw you in. Um, mm. Yeah, I get a lot of that. I get a lot of that. People you get me? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Didn't want to say nothing. You get me? Because for a long time, bro, I'll be I'll be in America a lot, yeah. And there's pictures that I could have had that I didn't have mm. because I didn't yeah. want to speak to no one about no pictures, yeah. bro. Yeah. Just enjoy the like, moment. Fam, I've seen Fat Joe. Like, and he's chatting to a man. Yeah. They ask me if I'm Spanish and that, bro. Mm. Like, well, I'm Spanish and that. You give me. It still yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Puerto Rican, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just like, yo, yeah, yeah, nah, man's from London and that. You give me. And he's like, oh, word. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm just like, yeah. yeah. Puerto Rican. Like, I could have literally <laughs> said, yo, Joel, bro, I grew up on your thing. Because I did. Mm. Just come and get a flick, bro. And he would have mm. been like, hell yeah. But I'm just like, yeah, big but, up. That's but, but, but there's no, there's no malice in that if you yeah. know his family. If you're just, he's dead. No, I wish I did. I wish I did, bro. Because I got one picture with Fab once when we was chilling. I was with Fabulous and that. And then we was chilling. He didn't even, like, I didn't tell him my raps. So I figured this guy, if I tell him my rap, he's going to hate me straight away. Mm. So oh, I just told him, yeah, business yeah. finance. Yeah, you know them yeah, ones? Yeah, like, yeah. man bought a bottle of effing vodka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were just jamming, <laughs> fam. I gave him my drink. Yeah, bloody. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a sick flick. Like, people yeah. was like, oh, yeah, yeah, some fabulous. Yeah, but you know, you know, really? you know, like, you know, it is, though. Like I said, man, it's like, if you've got a pure heart, like, it, it all tells in the end kind of thing. So yeah, it's yeah. like, that's why I genuinely, wholeheartedly, mm. I want everyone to win. 100%. I want everyone to win. These brands have got so much fucking money. Yeah, printed, right? yeah part ways. With and go and get it. Go and get it and help the next man get it as well. So that, that's what I'm saying. Big up everyone in the culture, everyone that's doing their yeah. thing. Mm. Those
Like, Long in it. Uh, yeah. uh, because anything you ever cool. want to learn or be, it's not someone, someone's teaching it on the internet. Yeah, bro. Somewhere if, else, though. Yeah. Yeah, 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 if today yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, if today I said, you know, I want to be an uh, engineer, mm. I ain't got a clue. I guarantee there's someone there's that's a course on there, isn't it? Course online yeah, 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 to yeah, 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 yeah. From level one up to level yeah. 100. Now, mm-hmm. how do I spend my time? Do, do I spend my time learning that? Because sometimes you can do mm-hmm. something, as you said, you know, with podcasts, yeah, podcasts are four hours long. Yeah. You might do half an hour now, half yeah. an hour. Same way with that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Learn something for half an hour today. And yeah, come back come to, back to it a couple of days later. And you're building up your own skills. Mm-hmm. Be, like, I was telling people, everything is important. Time management is important, bro. Yeah. Time management yeah. is one of the biggest things, bro. Like, if you can if you can actually create a structure for yourself, like, right, today, I'm going to wake up, go for a run, have my coffee and breakfast, gonna go, I'm going to go study for two hours mm. on this new plumbing engineering thing I'm doing. Then I have my lunch. Then I come back and then I'll go on Facebook and, uh, oh, sorry, um, LinkedIn and look for people in that industry yeah. so I can get an apprenticeship. Then from six to eight, I can go watch a movie mm. and enjoy it. Have some popcorn, whatever. Boom, boom, boom. Stru- yeah. It's important, bro. No, definitely, man. Because what you're doing as well, you're a hustler. But you, one thing is that in my life, yeah, even working through like sales jobs and mm. brokerage jobs and music industry, mm. podcasting, whatever whatever it is you give me, like there's bare things that like man's lined up for like big artists and that mm. in England from America and that yeah. lined us up. Ooh, I'm the middle man for it, but you yeah. never know. Yeah. It's about how well can you juggle multiple things. Mm. You ju- that's what you're doing, bro. I mean, like one you're of the you're juggling big. I'm even have to cancel say? one thing next week. I'm even doing Bob's Tabber. That's my food business. See what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Look, so yeah. I'm gonna Look cancel that. it next. Next it's meant to be next Sunday. I do it before I was doing it and again. Who's cooking mm. you? No, my mum. Oh, your mum. Oh, you got mumsy, like man. You got mumsy, you know. Come you know, on, man. Was, it was literally. I better food right? banging as well. Tabas that come to the grab side. It was literally again the power of social media. We're all in lockdown, right? I put up a video of food. My mum was making food or something, and I put up a video. Say, oh, mate need this man but obviously locked down they're saying the restriction yeah, can't yeah, move yeah. around yeah. everyone in the comments oh <laughs> i want this man i want yeah. this i said mom how much of this can you make <laughs> hustler <laughs> and then literally <laughs> i told everyone hustler. anyone who wants this let me know i'm coming to anyway in london i'm delivering me <laughs> creden thamesmead hackney i'm coming i'm dead and dead. literally everyone hustler. was waiting what i was doing i was documenting mm. it as well to the point that where people are waiting for me till yeah, midnight. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was making a thousand pound a day. That's, That's sick, bro. Crazy. It was making a thousand pound a day, and then I'll, I'll make a joke out of it. Mm. So I might have gone to someone might have hit me, say, "Yeah, come there," and I'm in Broadwater Farm. I'm like, guys, I'm in Broadwater Farm. Ops, <laughs> I'm, up, like, I'm just bringing food. Right? Just <laughs> bringing food. It's a delivery. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it's all it it's is. It's just right? a delivery. So, plan. but that, that, that just caught the buzz, and then a few artists and celebrities started buying it as well through the back of that. And then Ethan Farmers, you got to the Ethan Farmers, your customer. Bro. No, it was just some girl. Oh, okay, yeah, like, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But it's like literally when she's giving me Probably the address, and the address, and I see N17, and I'm like, oh, no, gone there. I'm like, wait a minute. What up? This is Broadwater Farm. It's familiar. Kind of thing. So yeah, so like literally, but. <laughs> the point that everyone's about food is not my passion. Yeah. So, but it got to the point where people are asking for mm. it again. So what I do now, I do it once a month. Okay. That meant to be the last Sunday or first Sunday of the month. Okay. But I'm trying to find that structure. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, like, Big but again, you, the very on point where you guys said planning and structure, mm. time management is very important and something that I'm weak at. I need to improve on it. Yeah, but yeah, you know what's funny? You see most, I don't want to call you road because I don't want to be disrespectful because mm. you're beyond that now. Yeah. But you see people that come from the road. Yeah. I'm one of them, yeah. When you get into like a corporate or a like progressive industry, it's hard. You have to adapt, and, yeah. it, and it's hard because mm. we, yeah. bro. You see me, you see the phone. Mm. Like yeah, yeah, cool. What you wanna come on Sunday? Yeah, six. Da, 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 cool, yeah. and that's it. It's patterned. Yeah. But p- other people, their take on it is like a diary, a mm. calendar, um, a, a fucking event in their calendar, a yeah. spreadsheet mm. with listing all the previous stuff. Yeah. Like the the organization. I've seen I've seen people honestly, bro, in the the finance world. I've seen people with re- a lot less um, skills than me win more than me because of their organization. Yeah, bro. Very key. So Very I think key. it's key. Yeah, I'll put it out there for the youths then, like grab that. If you're good with an Excel spreadsheet or you're good with like your ca- your Google Calendar or yeah. your, your phone. Even today, that, one guy is coming to, is volunteering uh, with Big Eagle Media at the moment. Mm. I've, I'm someone I'm, I'm, I work collaborative, I'm not a dictator, yeah. right? So yeah, I yeah. put out a couple of weeks ago, um, yeah, I need some people to come and help me with Big Eagle Media mm. to come and, sh- um, cause I, and he's come and straight away, I've told him, don't feel afraid to say anything. He met yesterday yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. Asian brother. Um, yeah, 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 so yeah, so, I see him still. so he came and like literally, 
And what I liked about him, he talk, he's not someone that, oh, I'm new, I don't. He like said, oh, I think maybe we should do this here. Networking yeah, and, yeah, and, and, and outspoken. And, and he's, told, he's, he's, he's like, yeah, like, I can manage your equipment, do Excel spreadsheet on knowing where this is. Like, I'm like, this is what I need. Golden. This is what I need. Golden, I need uh, someone that can manage because you, like you see your thing, you're probably more like me, you mm. know, like you can pick up the phone and ring anyone yeah. and have the confidence mm. to say like, yo, bro, look, I've seen your thing. We're patterning up, mm. we're doing this, we're uh, come link me on Saturday. And you just keep going. Like, mm. then it's the missus and the kids yeah. for a couple hours, then gym, then you come out the gym and it's like, right, I'm gonna go do this quick podcast, mm. but I'm ready for it anyway. Woo -woo. But then man there, mm. it's all planned. It's like, it's separate, bro. I need to be more like that. Yeah. Like, I, keep, I keep on double booking and stuff. I'm, I'm doing everything myself. <laughs> like I said, remember, I said after this, I have to go we to a christening. Right yeah, 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 People say some rumors or something. No, no. People say um, I was the violence. Uh, let me let me, let me break it down. All the job break. All, all the jobs, right? I so like twat now. <laughs> in in in, in Feltham, I worked on the survey, right? Survey's a yeah. good, great job to have, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In uh, when I went, to, I turned twenty one, and they moved me to um, Wandsworth. Yeah, yeah. Now. I've gone from being the king of the jungle and felt I'm the oldest. Now I've gone into one young, room, isn't it? where yeah, I'm yeah. the youngest. That's a big right? thing. Yeah, big. Yeah, yeah. But everyone again, I'm, I, everyone talked to me. Mm. Everyone talked to me. I, I had a couple of fights in there, right? I done a few snaky stuff myself, which I'm not proud of. I'll say. <laughs> big up uncle if you're watching. Like, I, I think I said the video like. I got uncle's <laughs> phone sucked, but that was that was it was on my fault. It was on my fault, kind of thing. I just let. Yeah, let but it, you know what, bro? Better, yeah. It's better than on the road because mm, you're mm, all in the same yeah. mix. But it's like no one ain't no clean. They, they, they made they made me the violence reduction rep. Oh, bro, that's gangster. In Wandsworth. That's gangster. Me and Frank, big up Frank, big Uncle up Frank, Frank from Hackney. Right? Hey, Frank from Hackney, yeah. Big so, up Frank. <laughs> yeah, Uncle Frank, everyone knows Uncle Frank, right? From Hackney, right? <laughs> me and him were the violence reduction rep. So, we uh, we was in charge of telling the man, them, like, when they're queuing up for the free, hey, you, man. Well, I'm 21, yeah. and I'm, yeah. these, these are hardened gangsters and criminals yeah, in yeah, Wandsworth. This is 07. Bad right? boys. Yeah. Bear South, man, as well. Uh, literally, down, those bear Hackney, man, as well. But literally, man, yeah. literally, yeah, there was a hell of Hackney, man. But literally, <laughs> Every day it will kick off, and people are like, "Where was you, Mister Violence Production <laughs> Rep?" Kind of thing. Where was you today? I'm like, "What the fuck, you guys expect me to do?" But and they physically go but, break but, up the fight. But, that, but, fight. but I started clocking the system, right? Is that you have to make things benefit you. So when mm. I started patterning things, right, you had to get in the offices, good books, to become mm. a red band, a yeah. gym orderly. That's so, a favor you which, at yeah, least, so, like so, your personality. So the, like. job, the jobs I had was I was uh, a listener. Right, right. You see, listeners yeah, basically yeah. people who, who, like, say you're feeling shit. Like right? a counselor. Yeah, 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 you feel so you're feeling suicidal. Your girl, your girl didn't answer your phone. You're feeling shit. Come chat so to me. So they'll they'll get me out of my cell, whatever time it is, oh to come God. and chat so to you. So another inmate would do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it makes sense though, because relatable, isn't it? But what it is, right? What people didn't understand, right? Like I said, when people used to see me with my bucket outside, Bobby, what are you doing? But you know, I'm mm. getting a bag a day from doing that, right? Mm -hmm. What people didn't understand is that. That red band access meant I can go to any wing. Ah, okay. Move around. I can move around. So now if my more. man's got a couple of phones over there on D wing, <laughs> God, I need to go D wing to go oh, on you want to listen to service. Yeah, yeah. 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 So go over there. Yeah. And then also, if someone did try to duck with any food, right, they know <laughs> I'm gonna I can go everywhere minute, kind yeah, of yeah. thing. So when people say, bump man, bro. I see certain comments. And the thing is, I see certain comments where people go, um, Bobby, man, why are you always got like yours bad? You was a, you was a, uh, what you call it? A, a library order or whatever. They make oh, up so it's thing. comments that these people are yeah, going to And I'll be like, <laughs> there's never been no shame in that. <laughs> yeah. And one thing, yeah, yeah, you guys will see it from here. I've never once said I was a bad boy. Yeah, nah, true. facts, bro. I facts. never ever glorified being a bad man. That's what I hate about London, though. Right? So it's like, one thing, one thing is that I won't let you violate me. Yeah, yeah. Self-defense, self-respect. I won't let you violate me. So, but I've never been a bad boy and I never planned to be. But yeah, being a, Red band means I can go anywhere in a jail yeah. and pattern Move things. Around, and be, but remember, I told you, you're forgetting, right? Awesome. I kept on getting moved to different jails because mm. yeah. after a while, they clocked me a minute. <laughs> this guy's doing yeah, too much. Yeah. <laughs> I remember in higher than I had to go on hunger strike. They put me in a block for, for 28 days. Oh, I had to do, yeah, so like it was whole mad. Month. Yeah, a whole month yeah, in a yeah. block. So they started clocking certain things. But yeah, man, it's like. That's long though, isn't it? Yeah, 28 days as well. Guys, be a good guy.
I remember like you see the rude, the rudest rude boy, and then the next day he's gone because mm. he like you know what I mean. Someone mm. young tested him and they mm. came up. Yeah. So it's like over here, I think people hold on to their reps so much yeah. you know, that they're on this like rah yeah now he's not like he's not like him because he didn't catch an attempted M or an M or whatever. Yeah. But the reality is, bro. Just be real to yourself, bro. There's a lot. Like, I see someone said this other day. There's a lot of bad men in the grave. Yeah, blood. And there's a lot real of bad talk. men in jail mm -hmm. for killing those bad men in grave. But you're doing, doing your life. life in jail. Yeah, doing life, bro. Like, you can't even help your own daughter. When, when, when I was in Belmarsh, like literally, man, them are crying. Big men are crying because yeah, yeah, they got given yeah, thirty years. Mm -hmm. I said that's not for me. That's not thirty years. Look nah. like thirty years. I was seven years old. Mm. <laughs> thirty see years. Nah, that's all long, man. It's all about decision making. Like we live and we learn. Hopefully, we're still alive and free to correct our, our learnings. Yeah, of course. That's what it is, bro. What is that? Really. Uh, for me, life is about one thing, really, mm. right? Is if you look at it, human survival, you're meant mm. to produce and keep the, the linear, yeah, lineage yeah, yeah. going for time that, and time. Yeah. So for me, my life is around protecting and providing mm -hmm. for my children and Facts. my family. And if I can support other young people within that, amazing. I don't need anything else. I don't need to have a flashy car. Same. I don't need a flashy watch. Yeah, I same. don't need... Uh, a lot of men yeah. should adopt this, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah bro. That's not all, all, I, all so. I need to do, I, t I, t I, t I said this to someone the other day. I said, "Do you eat?" He said, "Yes." Said, do you have somewhere to stay? Yes. Do you have? Your head. You have warmth, right? Do you have social mm -hmm. friends? Yes. I said, "That's all you, what more do you need, need in life." Yeah, what more do you need? Everything else Luxuries. is a want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so everything else sure. is a want. So Real for talk. me, I don't need much. Mm. I don't need much. Same. Right, as long as I can. Provide. provide every day for you. We get one, two holidays a year, my family. Yeah, that's why I said nice. That's what it's all yeah. about. Yeah. One, two holidays. Yeah, yeah. ASB is like about, <laughs> it's about five or six. He's away tomorrow <laughs> still, but you know. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that's not yeah, yeah. That's not Where, where are you off to tomorrow? Oh, I might just go uh, Miami quickly. Where's it? Might just go yeah. quickly. <laughs> I might yeah. just go to Miami quickly. <laughs> and then we're going to Dior, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's living but you know what it is, bro? I'll be honest. You, you, you worked for it. You worked for it. Yeah, I worked for a lot of things, but you know, he keeps getting like him in the gully, you know. Nah, because I respect it. No, I'm the same. See me. I'm the same as you. Do you want to know the truth? I'm lesser. What's the word? This guy, I'm like. This I'm like the low key version of you. Do you want to know the truth? I'm low key. Do you want to know the truth, bro? Low key. At one point, I was dead broke, bro. Yeah. So you got to enjoy life, man. Nah, bro. We're so broke. 100%. Yeah. And my nan was dying of cancer at the same time. All in one. How about that? God bless How about being broke and then that happens? God bless us. That changed me, bro. Turned me out, bro. Yeah. Pause. Pause. About to say, yeah, yeah, pause. Yeah. pause that that's one. more of an American term, yeah. Yeah. but like English people, pause. Yeah. You get me? Why? But what? Yeah. yeah. But what it was, bro, is that I realized, bro, I don't ever want to be in this position again. Mm. And and you know what? It's gonna sound a bit ignorant because mm. I'm not an ignorant person. I'm quite deep. Like I'm God fearing, humble. But I don't ever want to be a broke man on this earth. Mm. And, there's no, and there's, I don't yeah. think there's any need for anyone to be a broke person at all. Yeah, yeah. There's jobs. Yeah. What, I got out mm -hmm. that night shift at Bagel Factory. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say? Mm. Like, there's always a way. When, because, bro, at one point I was like this, I was a grime MC, mm. Risky Roads 2 DVD, this the Sticky Business 3 DVD, yeah, this see, DVD. See, yeah, yeah. Mm. no, but blood, I'm on Logo, I'm on Kiss, I'm on One X Sharp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, SBTV was my cameraman mm. before he was even SB. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, bro, it's like, raw, like, no one really cares about grime no more. Mm. Music's fizzled out. And I'm blood, I'm like, five yeah, cool, blood. I was gonna go make some money elsewhere. And then, bro, I'd take a job, night mm. shift, emptying lorries, bro. Mm. Couple you see, man, they're like, right, yeah, he's done. Mm. I was feeling, I told Ill Mill on three small podcasts, mm. bro. I was like, fam, then man now, probably looking at man thinking, fucking cunt, came mm. back, didn't he? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Well, I was rubbed out, bro. In the end, some people, some people want yeah. you to be rubbed out. Yeah, yeah. Some people want you to be rubbed out. I like, a, I love a, a comeback story. Mm. There's nothing better than I it. love a resurgence. Rocky Balboa yeah. shit. Even like yeah. artists, even like uh, this. This is mad off topic, but there's an artist called Peasy in America. Yeah, mm. he's got that tune that goes, "If we lock in, ain't no, ain't no, ain't no switching up." I know the name yeah. Peasy. And he used, he's what he used the old sample. I think mm. what sample did he use? Was it um one of them old R and B sample? But anyway, I was in the comments mm. of, on Academics page. Yeah, and I seen that Y Y B N Namir. He was saying, "Oh wow, I used to listen to these to these guys when I was when I was young. Mm. It's so good to see them come up, and I love that." Yeah, bro. yeah, 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 yeah. Even two chains. Mm. Yeah, two chains used to be called Titty Boy. Titty Boy. Yeah, and he came back, and I love a resurgence. I posted something. I posted something on Friday night. Mm. Yeah, I said, literally. Kojo funds, right, will destroy 
nearly every single UK artist on a versus yeah. and I put 10 of his tracks. Oh, you did the 10 wrong. I put 10 Strong of his tracks ten, yeah? and I, everyone's like, it's, you know what? It's, it's true. He's got a point. Yeah, he's got a point. I've seen it live. Yeah. <laughs> I was watching because the thing is, Kojo hasn't really had, uh, at the time as well, he hadn't mm. really had anything new released. Mm. Mm. I've seen him at a festival. Yeah. And I'm in my boy and I'm like, yo, Kojo's catalog is crazy. Yeah, you don't realise it. Like, I'm talking about crowd React, they're gonna react to it crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got the one with Ray. You they're, got the one with Mabel. They love that. Mm. Done talking. Done talking. Loved. You got um, Warning. You got the one with Wizkid. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the one with Skepta. No, Skepta. So the one with uh, Retch Free too. Retch, innit? You got the one with Chip. Like, the, the one with Young Bane. Mm. They like, got My Nine. Crazy, like, like, yeah, I'm not gonna that, lie. that's one person I say, you know what, like, bro, like, let Afro soon come back this summer. Yeah, he'll come back. Yeah. He'll come back. Yeah. And he's half Dominican as well, so we big him up. Is he? Yeah. Oh, he's yeah. half Caribbean? Yeah. He's half half. Bro, yeah. I didn't know that, you know. We big him up. Half Dominican. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? I want to end it on now. Mm. You just sparked a thought. I want to end it on, like, Bobby Kasanga, top five UK artists of all time. Mm, that's a nice one. That's a good ending, you know? Yeah, that's a nice one. And it can be any error for any reason. There's no... So it limitation. can be grime. Yeah, there's no limitations on it because it's a top five of all time. Mm. Dead or alive. It's nice. My favorite rapper, right? And I, I actually made a comment because I said that um, on this same Kojo Funds post, right? Mm. Someone put, nah, man, Chip will wash him. And I said, Chip is actually my favorite UK artist, right? In terms of lyrically, he's actually my favorite it's UK. Really, yeah. mm. But you don't make hits, I've said. I don't yeah, think it's a hits, fair point, bro. But he's my favorite artist, which is kind of strange to kind of say, right? No, because he can spit in it. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I'll definitely have um, Chip in there. Mm hmm. I'll definitely have gigs in there. Mm -hmm. right? Not gigs. just from. No, That's no, no, a dumb data, no, no, man. No, 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 yeah. no bias thing, just. Nah, I'll he's hard, there, bro. I was just in yeah. New York with him recently, yeah. bro. Yeah. And I said to him, fam, blood, like, that tune he dropped with that uh, TJ yeah. Dogma yeah. yeah, Fam, it's, it's like, blood, he just keeps coming. Yeah, like, he, when you he, think he's done, he comes back again. He, he, yeah. He's one that, that a lot of the people, I think, wish they had continued. A lot of people of his era stopped. Mm. He just kept on. So, yeah. Big gigs, talks. Gigs, definitely. Potter. That new album, bro. But, um, taking in. I've taken, taken it. In? I've, not, not all of it. I've, 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 I listened to the first few. No tracks features. There. Strong. Yeah. yeah. Free yeah. as well. Yeah. Strong. Free and free and free him. That's free. Um, Potter's getting ratings out here now. You know, yeah. big time, bro. From every end. They need to free him, bro. What he's doing back inside. There. <laughs> Joe Black. Okay, yeah, yeah, football man as well. Yeah, Joe. Big up Joe, man. Joe, Joe's to be fair, he's, he's come to my mind. I just see him just now because he, 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 he came to get my mini bus. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So, but, but big up Joe. But I say Joe. You must know each other heavy from the football thing as well. J Joe came about just because um, I was doing my first ever charity match, mm. and he's the first man I hit, and he said, "Yeah, yeah it's And then me and him have been cool yeah, ever yeah, since. Yeah. That's back in the old eighteen. They got magic and the book yeah. as well, man. His family. That's, that's my so peeps. what I said, I said, "You got Potter, um, chip? Potter, chip, chip, gigs, and Potter, Joe Black. Gigs, Joe Black. This is spicy top vibe, bro. Okay, number five, right? Number five, right? I'm gonna go with Crip. Oh shit! Crips, yeah. Okay, I didn't see that coming. I'm gonna go with Crip. Yeah. I think I think punchlines. Yeah, he just comes with it a little bit different. I don't think yeah. you get the flowers that he needs. He's hard, fam. Yeah. But big up everyone yeah. else in the industry as well. Gotta give Rimsy an honorable yeah. shout yeah. out. Oh, yeah. oh Rimsy's my guy. <laughs> man. He's my guy. Rimsy's, Rimsy's <laughs> definitely in there. That but big, I just that thought, big bar. Yeah. They put yeah. wretch in there as well. They never had a wretch. Nah, man. he's not putting no, it in no, there. No, 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 wait. He's putting Remember, it's my favorite. It's personal, isn't it? It's not. It's personal. The most lyrical. Okay, Because if you say most lyrical. Avellino comes into there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wretch comes into there. Mm -hmm. You see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even fucking. Avellino's one, one guy that nice. like. Because. And he told me he likes that same sort of um, braggadocious sort of bar in his own, which I love as well. G Fresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. G Fresh as well. Last week? Yeah. 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 So he's another one as well. Bro. So that there's. Bit, and then. And then it depends on what kind of He's good, mood you're in as well. I remember when I was in jail and I get, get into madness. I think I talked about this before. Is that. I'll put on Young Spray. Yeah. I'll put yeah. on Young Jeezy. I'll put on Gigs. So that like, man chatting yeah. shit. Like, cool, yeah. cool, cool, cool. Then I put, I'm put, I'm I know you I'm fuck with Styles P. Then I'm in jail though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Have to, then bro. it's like, even, the even goals, back in the day, uh, what you call it? He had a good run. What's his name? Uncle Murder. That's my boy. I got a tune with him, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my guy. He had the roads on lock all six times. Murder's hard, fam. He's so disrespectful. I love him. Yeah, he's the realest. Yeah, but that's my top five. But honestly, big up everyone as well. Big up everyone that's doing their thing, man. Nah, I appreciate you coming, bro. Genuinely. I rate your thing. I've been rating your thing for a while, but I just didn't know you personally. So big up Nene for the plug. You get me? But it was one of them things. It's like, fam, 
like Bobby is setting pace on the podcast what 100% and it is always a matter of time for man bump into man and, yeah. and network and woo woo Give man but yeah thoughts. but love for coming through no, bro I appreciate it the door's man. open here like anything that Guan's in the future bro even if like raw we end up blowing up I always say this innit because it's, it's like fam you see when you're not up up mm. people come through they give yeah. you their time yeah. to me I'm a man like mm. Forget the the glitz and the glamour and the yeah. and the hundred k followers mm. and all that. Me, it's about time and, and mm. like effort. So it's kind of like if say for instance we blew tomorrow, bro, this I, your, I this always is you, bro. This come to any time. I've, I've had people who where uh, I had, I invited them to come to my podcast. Mm. Oh no, they when they see certain man do it and it's where <laughs> uh, you hit me up. Yo, yeah, I wanna jump on. But for me, I don't. But you said no earlier. Yeah, no, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't have feeling because for me it's like Business. I understand, right? I understand because I always say this, right? Is don't worry if no one comes to mm. you at this yeah. level yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just can't see you. Yeah. yeah right? Yeah. There'll be a time where you meet them at a level. Cause I say this all the time. I use this example. If I told Drake, come on Big Eagle Media, mm. he's not coming on. Mm. But if Drake sees that I work for Apple Music, <laughs> <laughs> he will come because hey, I'm at his level. So yeah, right yeah, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't see me. He's pulling up. If I'm there, oh, oh, you're my man now. So I always tell people, never take offense if someone says no. Hmm. You catch him on the rebound. 100%. How That's ironic it. is it that he's called Big Ego Media and he's got and he doesn't even let his ego get in the way? That, I love that. That, that, that That's was good. That was the play the on the words. It as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah, man. Humility is everything. Yeah. Man. Humility mm-hmm. is everything. But listen, man, follow him up. Um, Big Ego Media, Bobby Kasanga, Hackney Wick FC, uh, podcaster, part time rapper. Family man. Family man, you get me? Community activist. Community activist. I appreciate it, man. Bomb.